That naughty, was naughty words. Wow. Yeah. Naughty words. I said a bad word? Yeah. The, See, M- the MFR. Oh. We, we definitely missed out on talking about Dej Love's booty when it came out. Wait, when did this drop? That was fake? Yeah. Trev keeps Stop. saying it's not you her. You talking about with the gray sweats? Yeah, that's it. She just was poking it out. That wasn't her? I'm about to say, she's... Do Why are they she's playing so games bad. with me? Trev is claiming that this was not her. I Damn. Her you like, think the Russians did that? The Russians is uh, putting out, like, dyke propaganda? No, you just think the what? Russians are... are wait, wait. Dej Love is not a dyke. I thought she was a dyke. I think she is. Right? And didn't she date Dirk? What does that mean, though? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> you acting like dykes on me getting some some pipe on the side. That's fair. I mean, <laughs> m- most bounce around. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> that was kind of crazy. That I think was... like when I think of dyke, I think like a, a a manly woman. I want you to go on Pornhub when you get home and type in dyke gets piped out by the. See, homie. this is what I think. I think less. I don't want to do like, that. When I think of a lesbian, I think there's just like a girl who likes another girl. You know, there's normal. Okay. And the dykes is like, they so got you, the do-rag and the afro. <laughs> and they usually look like Manny Fresh. You never had a dyke homegirl that had a fat ass. That's what you're you, telling you me. You could fight a dyke and you wouldn't feel too bad about it? Like, if I like, like I, if she came up and squared up with you at the a, liquor store, you'd just fight her. Like, right? if I fought a lesbian, I'd be like, damn, I hit a girl. But if I fought a dyke, I'm going to be like... I mean, I just got out with a nigga at the gas station. Ever- <laughs> no, I was looking at, I seen a, a we're, we're fucked up, but I seen a, 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 a Fashion Nova ad on the No Jumper Instagram, which mm. by the way, shout out to Fashion Nova because they uh, sent me this fly sweater in the It's kind of hard, I'm not going to lie. Charlie Brown. You think I look cool? I like the peanuts. You could look like me if you go to Fashion Nova. But either way, they, they had a, a Fashion Nova men's ad. Mm. It was Young M.A. Really? Was wow. the model? That's the, inclusive. That's inclusive. That's what I'm that's saying. Fire. I love that. She, that's how she likes dressing. She likes wearing the boys' clothes. Fuck it. That's kind of fire. I'm not gonna lie. I seen Riley laughing in the background because she knows why. Why I, I know why she's laughing. Why? Why? Because I was watching their stream and <laughs> Yuri didn't know that Charlie Brown comes from the, the Peanuts. What do you mean? So she was like, the show is called The Peanuts. He's like, no, it's not. It's called Charlie Brown. <laughs> it's called something else. And she's like, no, it's The Peanuts. He's like, I ain't never heard that we called The Peanuts. I'm going to be honest what? with you. And he, he did that to Riley. I don't Sometimes he's just so wrong. <laughs> I know you're not talking. Okay. Oh, you? Yeah. <laughs> no, but this. This is what black people oh, hate. Oh, my God. Here we go. This Here is. Go. Hey, he's hey, been hey. holding it. He's been bottling yeah, it up. They think I got suspended last week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, let me say this. If me being suspended is going to get me a, a, a paid for uh, trip yeah, to Italy, make- <laughs> suspend me every That's fucking That's what we week. did. We said we got to get him out of here. Let's send him to Europe. <laughs> get this nigga the fuck out of here. We were trying to send him to Ukraine, but he didn't get on the connecting flight. <laughs> and he was just stuck. He just in, stayed in Italy. He's stuck in Italy. We're going to get to that. But no, like. Sometimes Yuri will just volunteer an opinion that will just be like astounding, something he doesn't know about. Dude, look, he did that. He did that on Disconnected every Thursday, six p.m. He did that. Uh, <laughs> he did that last week on fucking Disconnected. We were talking about how uh, Rich the Kid was claiming that he like started like Goyard, Goyard making Goyard popular. We're right. like, bro, what the fuck? And basically, nobody agreed with it except for Yuri. Yuri was like, <laughs> well, I didn't. I had never seen it before. I seen him wear, it. and I'm like, that doesn't mean that he started. He made it a trend. I, saw, I said something about Neiman Marcus around Yuri, and he's like, who are they? <laughs> wow. At least he was being woke and being inclusive and calling them they, them. That's cool. It's just like, you you can't go to the, no, because it's like two people, but like, you can't go to the mall. <laughs> you can't go to the mall in LA without seeing Neiman Marcus, That is right? not true at all. It's at like a bunch of the malls out here, it's right? Not it's, only, it's not, a, it's not a, at a lot of malls at all. It's not at like the regular malls at all. It's only at the Beverly Center. Yeah. And like. And it's a Penga Canyon. Yeah, that's literally the only South two Coast. Neiman Marcus. Is. I mean, if you got money, they got it at, 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 your, at your mall. I mean, yeah. realistically, I probably didn't know about it until what 2017 I don't know, like I, I i i had been out here for a while before i knew about it yeah like when you start buying drip about this year no or like i've been getting drippy for a long time like barney just occasionally sporadically i just fell off during the pandemic what happened to barney's, barney's now i'm back with a cool somewhere? a cool sweater from fashion over so i feel like barney's, i'm drippy again barney's is only on rodeo no but i thought it was gone now you know what used to be my shit too what fred siegel fred siegel fred siegel was the spot baby bop I went there one time. What, Was Baby Bob fucking BJ? We don't know. Mm. What the hell are y'all talking? I think they're about? supposed to be children. <laughs> I have no idea what y'all. Do you think about that? Like, like, <laughs> like the the Muppets on Sesame Street. Like Elmo is definitely a little kid, but then Bert Elmo was Bert's not a an old man. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. He's a Muppet. Everybody in the Sesame Street world is a Muppet, right? I don't think everybody is. 
Well, not everybody, but yeah. like all the furry he's a, monsters. He's a puppet, but I thought a Muppet is like the Jim Henson niggas. But isn't Sesame Street from that universe? Is it, wow, I is didn't it know that. shared universe? Maybe, I just had a Yuri right now. Have they ever talked about He's D- not a fucking Muppet. What if DC <laughs> buys Marvel and That'd be crazy. It's all, it all becomes one. Like, Is that a possibility? Who's Dar- richer? Dar- Darvel. Who's richer? Which one's owned by DC? And who owns both of them? Well, or, uh, not DC, but Disney. Disney owns mm, Marvel. Marvel, yeah. So they're the richer than for sure. We probably yeah. shouldn't even be talking about this because we have no idea what we're talking. No, about. no. We, I, Warner no. Brothers owns the other one. Disney owns Marvel, bro. Yeah. Disney so. owns Star Wars and. Oh Marvel. yeah, they win. Josh, they, what's bigger, Marvel or Star Marvel. Or DC? Marvel by far, not even close. What yeah. about Superman, dude? What Nobody cares it? about Superman? Batman, the Great White Hope, Superman. He's a big deal. He's now, pretty popping. Spider Man. Way Superman more been cracking for a long time. Yeah, yeah, since like fucking time. the 1920s. <laughs> he's big, he's strong, like he got a blue suit, but you look like a sucker in the blue and red suit. Who said that? Sugar Hill Gang. <laughs> you really don't know that? I mean, you're fired. You don't know about, about hip hop. <laughs> I don't know first, like the first hip hop song ever. Hip hop song. Hip hop. Hip 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 hop. Hey, don't hey, stop. Imagine if too- imagine if niggas start like rapping like that again. <laughs> and you should do it. A child but, uh, is born. But, over, but, but like, get like a Detroit beat, and then just start rapping like that, and just see what happens. You know, you know who's like a chop, a chippy, the chop, chop. But you know who's shoot a nigga, kill a nigga. Switch on the Glock. That I don't know Glock. if I like it or not. What? But I keep listening to it. What, what is it? A fucking backwood brat song. Oh, oh my god! god. You <laughs> I don't with know. Her? You got a thing for her or something? I don't know, bro. I keep listening to this one song. It's, you know what I'm talking about? No, but that's hilarious. I'm gonna play this shit after this. The Kendama team was here. And they met Backward Brat when Blueface came in, and they all still talk about her all the time. Like, she's like a, the most famous person they ever met besides Blueface. But which she, one, which she one was a, that again? Backward Brat? She was just a lit, backward, smoking bitch that was on the <laughs> Blueface show. Also, why didn't we come? Yuri? Josh? Why didn't we? We didn't come in with the fucking song. I forgot, but we what can still song? play it now. The Zoe Osama song. Huh? My favorite one? We got it cleared Toot so it up, we can play bitch, it. Boot it up. That we got to play it. Oh my god, we were supposed to come I'm in so with confused. it. I wanted to get my Joe Budden on and like come in with a song uh, to set the energy and stuff. I like that. But this song's hard. This is the hardest song I thought in LA. Right Wallow now. Did that. No, we they do but no, but their shit's paid. Well, I don't know. At least like the, <laughs> the little Dirk <laughs> one. They take like submissions. Well, that shit we gotta talk about that shit later. But that's they're sitting there like fake vibing to a song for like two minutes to start the podcast off. Just sitting they there. They do like, that every episode. It's every episode? Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, it must be somebody. It must be like, was it a notable artist? No. Mm. Well, I think it was like a K Camp feature, but the, the artist that had him featured on it was not. He bought the K Camp feature. I want to know how much that shit costs. He bought the K Camp feature and then bought the. Um, exactly. The Wally and Gilly promo. Like, steal their ideas, start doing it. I don't really want to do it. This is the song right here. Switch lanes. It's my shit right Put here. Put us in the corner. This is on the No Jumper channel. You gotta put the sunglasses on for this. This is like LA uh, Young Nudie. That's the funniest dance ever. Uh, 
was up. chewing a fucking up, like a lifesaver or some shit the other day, and I was just down, listening to it, clanking against the team. Up. I was like, you know what I mean? Should I say something? You let a nigga eat a whole candy on your pocket? You got to take an interview and you know what we're serious. You got to take an interview and you know what we're serious. Then we got to save the sluts, give a dick, give a nut. Shout out to Osama. That's the hardest song, the hardest song in LA right now. We 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 fucking with that song, and it's I'm on the No Jumper it. channel. So I'm not gonna lie, it was hard. Go tune in. That's the first time we ever played a song on here as well. AD won't, AD won't whitelist us. Oh no, look, that, I, I have before. You have? Yeah. So then why don't we come in on an AD song next week? Let's do it, and then the house phone song. Oh, exactly. Oh yeah, you you played us some some ones that had some fire gay bars mm. on the way to Vegas. <laughs> fire gay bars. Saying some sus ass. I shit. have That's not sad. heard no bad ones from house phone. You ain't listening hard enough. First of all, we was turned in the motherfucking Sprinter van, listening to House. We were not in the Sprinter van. I wasn't talking about you. <laughs> <laughs> Paid for by my boy, on the way to Rolling Loud. I played him a bunch of songs, but no, actually, I played y'all more songs because I made more in, in the time. Do you think you're like your your music is rare? Like you're dropping rare Pokemon when you? When I kind of do, do feel drop? like that. I feel like I'm on my Playboy Cardi shit. Like I'm starving the fans. But instead you're just wait. podcasting, but you're not giving up the music. <laughs> I'm working on other shit, you know what I'm saying? We got new colorways and shoes dropping, you know what I'm saying? I'll fuck with that one. Yeah, man. So, like, you know, we're working on other stuff. What happened to that hat? I wanted to try out a couple different looks during this podcast. What you mean? What hat you had? Well, I had a hat that somebody sent me in the mail. Who took my gray hat? Where, where that hat at? my gray hat? Big Ski got a fire-ass beanie on. I'm not going to hold you. I done came back, and this nigga doing shit like this. And what? Hat, trying man? on hats? Listen to music, trying on hats. Shout out Big I got ski, this hat man. in the mail, and I was thinking of just trying out a couple different looks on the pod yeah. today. This definitely, this definitely is a, a, a sent in by a fan hat. Yeah. You don't like it? Put it on. Let's see. I'm not saying I don't like it. I don't think it's going to match my shirt. You, oh, my God. They made it. Wait, wait, this is not my hat. Just loosen it up. Like the once. hat that I had had a fucking uh, had a, a, a strap in the back instead of a latch. Sounds, uh -huh. like, sounds like you. I got a strap in the back. That's right. It's kind of you look like a, a, a gay train conductor. <laughs> Do you deal with them a lot? <laughs> a, a, gay a, lot of a gay train conductor. <laughs> Honestly, like the other one better. The dad one kind of sucks. Yeah? Yeah. You I like think, this one better or the other no, one? No, the other one is cooler. Why? What's like on the this fi one? The fit, it's the same thing. It's the same thing, but the fit know, of it is better. but this fits my, hat, my head better. I got a weird head. The other one looked oh, better, to be honest. Oh, I got a weird head. This one just gives you, like, just, he, he just a, dad swag. He's like a narc vibe right here. <laughs> yeah, you look like, well, well, so. drugs, kids. Then what about this? He's like, so, Twizzy. Hmm. Still yeah. an arc. What about this? Okay. Uh, now you're back at him. Yeah, yeah. Now you just. N narky. There you go. I like that. I like I, that the I, most. That was all right. And then what about this? Yeah. Ski Davidson. Undercover cop vibes. <laughs> you still look like you're like, hey, so my Twizzy. <laughs> 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 Is that what the kids are calling them? We're so down down all, buddies. <laughs> I would do a poll about what the best look is, but I don't want Josh to fuck up like the way he's describing the different looks. Because <laughs> you have no confidence. I mean, it's like black tee and hat with glasses, sweater and hat, sweater and hat and glasses, or or just sweater. I see. I'm already confused, yeah, and exactly. I'm not even having. I mean, I guess if I was typing it out in front, toot it up, little bitch, boot it up. <laughs> <laughs> that song makes me want to fucking do hard drugs. That made me want to crib walk. That song made me want to like sock somebody in the office. That makes me want to pop a jigger and just fucking start turning <laughs> up. Pop a jigger? <laughs> <laughs> this nigga just what is a jigger? I never like knew that ecstasy, was. Ecstasy. I didn't know when he said that. Well, once I'm I put on one jiggies. in your booty hole, you're going to know what's oh, going on. Go. Hey, but also, speaking uh, of booty holes, with Gonzaga officially bounced from the NCAA tournament, the national championship is up for grabs, and so is the bag with my bookie. It's a better's market when the dogs are barking. They really be writing some shit for us these days. Mm. <laughs> the number one seeds lost to Arkansas proved that underdogs provided the best value. So take advantage and get some skin in the game with my bookie. Sign up today at my bookie and use promo code no jumper to secure a first deposit bonus up to a thousand dollars. It's simple. Deposit two hundred dollars and play with three hundred dollars instantly. Just use promo code no jumper to claim your bonus. Mobile or on the go. College ball or NBA, no matter the league, no matter the minute, my bookie puts the action in your hands so action. you can turn any game day into payday. Hell Bet yeah. anything, anytime, anywhere, anywhere with, with my, my bookie. bookie. <laughs> All right, back into the fuck shit.
Man, uh, that seaweed was really good. You're fucking with the seaweed. I feel like I want to go get some sushi now. Shit is like two calories each piece. Really? That's why I'm always confused when people are eating it as a snack. I'm like, is it good or bad? Yeah, I, I it's agree. healthy, but I just don't find it like filling at all. Yeah, I mean, like, you ever eat a bunch of sushi and you think you're full as fuck, and then like, no, fucking I'll, a couple I'll, hours if later, if I order like two sushi rolls off Postmates at fucking midnight, that'll fill me up. For yeah, sure. but then like I'll get back hungry like a couple nah, hours see, later. Y'all eating California rolls? That's why. <laughs> yeah, we're eating the good <laughs> shit. Yeah, the when fried you, ones you, and shit. Yeah. When you get like the real sushi, like one will fill you the fuck up. Oh, he goes to Italy and he comes yeah, back. Yeah, I think so. He goes back <laughs> in, Italy, fuck, in Italy. In Italy, I had the most amazing sushi. <laughs> <laughs> Who goes to Italy? The sushi and the meat of us. Who goes to Italy? Eat okay, sushi. Mr. World Traveler, tell us about why American <laughs> food is no good. That nigga said, "Fuck eat." Uh, he said, "Fuck Italy." Nigga, I'm in Italy. I know we went to Italy and then all of a sudden he's in Italy. That fucked me up. Did you have They're that posers. plan? Did you have that planned out this whole time? What? You were like, you you was at Italy. He's like, you know what? I need to experience the real thing. It just it just snapped. Wow. Babe, before I go to Italy, I gotta go to Italy. <laughs> Italy is fire. For those who don't know, Italy is a restaurant inside the MGM in and, Vegas. And, I think it's like and, a no, restaurant. They have everywhere. it here too, I yeah. found out. Yeah. We gotta go. They have it. You here. really liked it that much? Nah, I mean, it was all right. <laughs> nah, it was cool. <laughs> bro, the chicken was busting, bro. What did you get? What kind of chicken? Nigga, it was I'm like, hungry. <laughs> I haven't eaten all bro, fucking Italy day. Italy is Me so neither. lit that Josh is literally kicking it with young jock. And yeah. Kiki. Kiki yeah. And, and Josh, no job or sports crew every That's Sunday. The most like every watching. Sunday. That's They're the most there. random Post interaction it. ever. Posted with young jock. Uh, what kind of questions did y'all ask young jock? That's They're a real talking question. about everything. It's going down. There's a jock. Is it going down? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Josh making that joke. Nah, they're lucky I wasn't there because I would have been like, how do you feel about the 42 Doug song? Because I'm an oh, interviewer. See, he's a gold nigga. As soon as you I see the nigga. I ain't broke like Josh. How about just go right for the T? You should have. Hey, Josh. No, no, no. Broke like Josh. I got a couple questions. You should have asked him about being an Uber driver. That was cap. That was cap? That, that wasn't was him? That was viral marketing. Wow. And then also you should have asked him about when he had the auntie. Like yeah, comb over. Swoosh. Yeah. Oh, see, I didn't. That's think what of I'm that saying. Yet. We got we got questions upon questions. Cause, cause Young Jock, come to the fucking podcast. Bro, I, I was deep in the fucking game last night because I I interviewed Orlando Brown today. So wow. I was deep watching a bunch of crazy ass stuff. He pretty much in the interview like denied that any of it was real. <laughs> that any of the crazy shit that he'd been caught on camera doing or whatever. Yeah. But uh, him and his baby mama used to be arguing on live. That shit was crazy. They broke up on live like two weeks ago. I asked him about that too. This he, is the he, same girl. He's like, nah, we good. He's like, we back together. Now. <laughs> nah, we good. But he was posted up in here, man. He he came through with some some street guys. What? Oh yeah. He's a, he came a long way from Disney, man. He did. I I can't believe that that's the same guy from That's So Raven. I asked him if he broke the Disney code by saying that he smashed Raven. Classic. Classic. Damn. I honestly forgot about his moment in time where he just like encapsulated He encapsulated the internet, bro. He was wild. He said he did two years on meth, but they've been sober ever since. Wow. I believe it. But hey. Bro, I'm s shout out to him for keeping it at 1,000, though. Yeah. Because he could have came on here and lied. Bro, but he can rap his ass off, though. Mm. You heard that like African like Lion King song? Yeah, that he, <laughs> he got some wild hard. shit. He filming that shit, shit in the church hard. and shit. That's the one. He that shit hard, bro. That shit is crazy. Because uh, he spends mad time in the Dino, so I was trying to get him to do music with. Oh, that's Doggy why he was style. doing meth. Yeah, well, that's what I'm thinking. Like, <laughs> I mean. <laughs> I mean, if you do mess with the Dino, sorry, it's going to be so much more normal. Yeah, for sure. It's like going downtown and doing meth. Nobody's going to notice. You just I mean, want another one of them. Well, if you hang downtown, you might run into Vail. He might beat your ass. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Vail talk. <laughs> Hitman like, right, hit Vail. All right, square up now. <laughs> he interviews somebody and then squares up with him afterwards. Yeah, and yo, I, I'm a fucking good... My, my uh, Not my gay dar, but my white supremacist dar is really good. Yeah, uh, because you look you're at one yourself. Of Thank yeah. you. I was, no, I was watching... I'm watching... Uh, I'm watching Orlando Brown get arrested by this bounty hunter, right? What? And I'm watch I'm looking Was at a him. dog? No. Okay. And I'm looking, he, does, he works in Hawaii. I'm I'm looking at this bounty hunter and I'm like, oh, this guy 100 percent is like a Nazi. Like I could I, I'm mm. looking at his tattoos and his whole vibe and everything. And I'm like, bro, this dude looks like a fucking white supremacist for sure. Yeah, like and an then, eagle like landing on a fucking swastika. I don't know, but then as soon as I mentioned it to Orlando Brown, and in the video of them arresting him, there's a weird edit where like you can't hear the noise for a, a second or two. Okay. And I'm listening to it. And I'm like, 
bro, that sounded like he said the N-word. Even though it's edited out, it just seemed mm. like they edited out the perfect amount of time for him to have said that, and he fucking confirmed it right away that that guy did say it to him. Nigga Brown, come I don't on! Think if, you can't be a bounty hunter and running around using racial slurs. I feel like that'll probably charge you into getting your suspect. Like, like it'll charge you up. Like, ah, like gotta go get that nigger. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get him. Like it's a fucking war chant. It, I mean, to him, yeah. Woo! That does just because that might be why they do it doesn't mean it's okay. Oh, I'm not saying it's okay at all, but I'm saying what gives bounty hunters the right anyway? Like where do they come yeah, from? Yeah, like that's what I'm saying. Courts? You got to get certified and shit, and then they. But yeah, I mean that's what's crazy. Like anybody could be a bounty hunter. Yeah, like if I just want. If I just wanted to go arrest you right now, like, you know what? Let me just like, arrest like, I'm like, oh, citizen's arrest. <laughs> they're going to be like, like it's, no, it's, little house phone. You can't be a bounty hunter. <laughs> citizen, citizen's arrest. Okay, what what qualifies a citizen's you arrest? You broke podcasting rules. Yeah, like. You're going with me, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Bad podcasting. A citizen's arrest. Well, that, remember the Ahmad Arbery case? Mm-hmm. Where the, the guy's just sort of looking around in some random house. They still don't really yeah. know what he was doing there or whatever. But then he goes back to jogging down the street. These fucking dudes jump in their truck. I guess there has been some burglaries around there. Yeah. They chase him down. They jump out of the car with guns. He fucking grabs one of the guns and then they end up killing him. And they were attempting to do a citizen's arrest. And that the fact that those guys are all doing time now, and I, I'm not sure exactly how much time they got, but the fact that they got a bunch of time is kind of like a clear sign that the courts are not going to like just let people get away with whatever yeah. under the idea that they're doing a citizen's arrest, you That's know? That's fucking stupid. Yeah. You could have called the police and just left left it alone. I mean, it, 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 see, I, I didn't sorry to mean to cut you off. I just didn't I didn't I never knew the context behind that video of why mm-hmm. they were chasing him. I thought they were just chasing him because he was black and jogging in They the say area. that there were a lot of robberies in that area. Of course they said that. But then they also saying. are like saying that there weren't that many robberies reported in that area and <laughs> shit, so who knows? Damn man, R. Either R. Way, that young. Either way, young you know what's the crazy? The craziest it's like the part about Martin thing too, the same shit. Yeah, but I same think we thing. talked about this before. But he, the craziest thing about it is that they they would still be free if they didn't put out the video, because yeah, when that right. shit mm-hmm. happened, there was no public outcry because people are reading the police report and it sounds like it was kind of justified. And then once you see the video, you're like, holy fuck. That shit was scary, bro. Just think about you just walking down the street, your motherfuckers hop in a truck and just chase you down like that. Like you're literally an animal being hunted. That's insane. And that, that was like the lead up to the George Floyd thing because that was like yeah. a week or two before that. That was a week before that? It was like right before it. And that, so like the tension was kind of like building already in America in general, I think, or in the news <clears> and whatever. I was just thinking about uh, how like such a crazy time that was, man. Like just all the... The fucking looting and like people protesting in the streets and breaking just... into Sorella. <laughs> Stop it, bro. That, I hate. I hate that. It like the the meme, mm. the craziest meme was somebody breaking into like a fucking Nike store and just running out with a gang of Nikes. It's yeah. like my nigga, man. Bro, a lot of those places really never recovered from that, or like they they didn't recover to the hundred like to hundred percent. You know. Mm. Now, that was that was a crazy time, especially being here. I and spent so little time in Hollywood that I don't even know what that fucking area looks like. But I guess I should drive around more. Is there still mad shit boarded up at this point? No, I don't no, think it's, so. It's, no, it's I think I think now, it's back right? normal now. But like, just uh, man, it was just crazy seeing that many people just running around in the streets and shit like that. And uh, yeah, that was just a crazy ass time, bro. For sure. Or, or I remember when we were just locked down and there was no traffic on the freeway. That was the best. That now, was fun. I was just thinking about. <laughs> I, I was on it. the way over here in dead stop traffic. Like, man, I wish that was. A it thing. was a little scary because you didn't really know like how bad this virus was and if it was just gonna kill everybody. But yeah. then, like, the fact that nobody was really able to get any work done. So, like, if you got any work done in the day, you just felt like wow. Like, I was still coming and doing podcasts and shit, yeah. and I'm feeling like wow. Like, I'm really working my ass off because yeah. nobody else is doing fucking anything. You felt like super know. accomplished, huh? Yeah, because I just kept going hard. Anyway, I want to hear more about Italy. Marona Mia. <laughs> What's that mean? Instead of Mama Mia, you say Marona Mia. What does, what does mean? that mean? I don't know. It's Mama Mia. <laughs> I don't know. You just say it a little different? Throw a little swag on I it? I learned some new words. T- give me some more. Ciao, Bella. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> it's like, like you're hello. saying like a girl, like you're hot, damn near. Like mm. you're beautiful. And you want to say a man is hot because I know you're sus. <laughs> you say ciao, Bello. Ciao, oh, Bello. Change the A to an O. And then you say, Verissimo. Ciao, Bell X. Verissimo. If they're trans. What does that mean? Like you're magnificent. What did you just say? Ciao, Bell X. What's that mean? Like Latin X. <laughs> What's wrong with this? We want to fuck bro? with the trans people as well. Oh. 
Okay, so what? Okay, <laughs> yeah. Why? Okay, let's start off here. When did the idea to go to Italy come about, and what was the circumstances? Like, you just went out there with your girl and her family, or what? And why didn't you no. invite any of us? Oh, oh, oh. Well, I, I doubt that little house phone will be <laughs> elephant go in the have, room. Go have a, Go have That's a just what I want to do. I want to be just like sitting out in the hall while you and your girl are having passionate sex. Pause. Okay. Not Dude, like yeah. That. Here, this is he was like this. This is golden. <laughs> Leno, we wheel. have a new we're signing. Gonna, we're gonna put this on he plug talk clips. His name he is AD. Came around. Oh! We've been waiting for this day. His name is Johnny Cochran Jr. <laughs> <laughs> That's my brother. I, I, I came up to Kiki the other day in Long Beach and said, "I fuck with Johnny Cockring." Shout out to Long Beach. Shout out to motherfucking Lord Fubu Shout for that hat, Fubu, man. man. Mm. Shout but, out to the bum who was sleeping in front of Joey Fats' store. What? <laughs> What happened? He was just on his story because like a bum keeps sleeping in front of his store in Long Beach, and he keeps saying like, "I got a hundred dollars for whoever beat the shit out of this motherfucker whenever he's sleeping I'm out like, here." I got a friend. He's like, "Rip the blanket off of him." Yes. Why is Vel not? Vel needs to be a homeless bounty hunter. Yes, that's oh, good. That's perfect for him. I mean, he could just sleep somewhere else. He doesn't have to necessarily sleep in front well, of the homie store. Can he go next door? Well, yeah. A lot of places would be cool with you sleeping. Maybe there. an alley. Joey Fats ain't cool with it. So now I know. Okay, let's stay on track. Okay, sorry. What inspired... It's bad podcasting, Adam. Right. Terrible He's podcasting. Right. Yeah. What inspired um, the well, initial I knew, trip? I Mario that, Brothers? <laughs> Go. I knew a long time ago. A Luigi. I knew a meet the buzz. <laughs> Papa John's. He wanted to find out where it came from. <laughs> niggas, he said, I said, well, I want to find the origins of this guy that said the N-word. <laughs> they sell pizza. You were trying Amazing to confront him out there? <laughs> You get on, you go to customs. Show me the owner of Papa John's. Uh, like what? Hey, okay. no, no, I had bro. It was, it was a, it was a big truth. <laughs> That's funny though. It was. <laughs> okay. Right, wait. okay. It was a big trip because I knew my girl's birthday was on the twenty fifth, but her family was going to Italy, mm. right? So I was like, I don't want to miss that much time mm. so i was like all right i'll come the week of your birthday i'll come stay a week or something like that so i flew out there but see i didn't want to vlog but i ended up vlogging like the whole thing and shit because you got bored no because i fucking went to the airport right they delayed my flight they sent me to amsterdam oh, they, with a five hour delay right and delay me again for five hours and then i go to paris and i have another five hour delay in paris Oh and I'm God. just like, I'm just vlogging. What the all, fuck? Yeah, I'm vlogging all this shit. I'm glad and this didn't happen to t Rail. Yeah. I know. He <laughs> 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 like, Josh! Call it Josh! <laughs> I'm a fucking star! I, well, my limo is not in Amsterdam! <laughs> <laughs> I've been on tour with Lil Wayne! <laughs> you niggas not finna reroute my flight! <laughs> <laughs> Delta, you don't know that. I was on tour with Nicki Minaj. <laughs> I met Drake <laughs> when he had a fucking part in his head. Yo. <laughs> on trip. All right. West Side Hoover, y'all niggas will stop God, playing with me. It. He's oh. pissed. He's sitting at home with smoke coming out of his steam coming out of his ears. <laughs> Oh my god! That might have been one of your best jokes of all time. That was pretty good. Yeah, that okay. was good. So, so it took you what, like 20, twenty extra hours? Twenty-four hours to get there. God damn. damn! And it was supposed to be what, like eight? Um, no, 10? eleven. Probably long. Okay. Oh, that was something like that. That's 11, not that 11, bad. 12. Okay. Because you got to take you got to take like a three-hour flight, and then you take like a ten or eleven-hour. That's flight. the worst thing. The thing I hate about traveling is like to Europe and shit. Is like you know if you're gonna be there for a week. You realistically just spend like two full days traveling, traveling. and like those are two days where you're just basically doing nothing, bro. Nothing. It's rough. That's why you gotta like you gotta make trips like that worth it because there's no way you want to spend two days out of seven. That's why I like going out there for like a couple weeks if possible. Mm. That's what everybody says you need to stay out there a month. Oof, a month fire. is long. Yeah. Imagine we all went out to Italy for a month and did the podcast from there, like sitting on top of a fucking. What's those shits called? Like, would, like one of those rowing boats? What are we going to talk about? You would definitely about have being like in Italy. 10 Italian women signed to the Adam and, and <laughs> Linda Pork of Humphrey. You're taking a global. He's, he's coming out with contracts. No, I'm locking my wiener down. Cap. You're trying to lock them down on a contract? Nah. They ain't got no baddies out there, do they? What? Yeah, bro, it's of Italy. Of course. <laughs> bro, Italian white bitches got the fattest asses you, of all you, white women. Really? I think it's like Italian and then like 
Australia. He's not allowed to tell us if he thought yeah, there was a I lot know, of hot girls out there. He probably has to be very careful with his words. He's keeping his. There were hot girls out there. You did see hot girls. Yeah. Okay. They, they're, they're nice Italian women. You're but dead. You, you want to know one thing <laughs> I nice noticed though? You're fighting. I was off the Amalfi Coast, bro. Right. I go to Positano. Mm. I noticed that there's not one fat person that lives there. I believe that. And I and I I was like, wow. I'm one of the biggest niggas on the island. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> Got the homie feeling self conscious. Fuck y'all niggas. I'm the king. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I kind of was like this. I was looking at everybody. I'm like, like, damn. I need to get in the gym. Damn. Hey, no, but really? It but made, the food must have been insane. No, yeah. let me tell you. It made perfect sense why there was nobody big, bro. It's so the incline of all the steps that you have to walk every day, my nigga. Oh, I would have not made it. It's like a workout to go do anything. Like, I'm like, Really? Uh, bro, it's terrible. Oh, you wouldn't have made it. Can you, can you roll like, us a I'm, blunt, too? Thank I'm you. Like, I don't know if I would have made it. That we didn't get you before or whatever's you out there. You like, you know what? I'm staying in here the whole time. I'm staying time, in the hotel. <laughs> like, to do anything, you got to walk miles. You got to go up a, a heavy incline and stuff like that. But the food was fucking amazing, bro. Really? Yeah, like, I ate at the Gucci restaurant. That shit was wow. crazy, bro. Damn, they got to be special to eat there. Gucci restaurant, Gucci exhibit, and you know, like. What is a Gucci restaurant? Why do they have a restaurant? They got, Why don't they, they have a restaurant here? They do have a restaurant here. They do? Yeah. I haven't been there. Mm. Well, you need to go. Well, Where? You, need to Where? Where? you need to go drop a it's bag. It's like uh, Beverly Hills. You can go right now. Maybe I will. You got to make like a... <laughs> this is Ben in the jumper. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go eat at the Gucci restaurant by myself. No, that's hey, kind of hard. Hey, no, Do you have to make a purchase to eat at the restaurant? No. What Let's if you're go. wearing full Louis jumpsuit? No. They then probably, you're not. They'll let you in. Yeah, they'll, they'll, still let you yeah, in. they'll, they'll let you do not? anything. Yeah. No, but they have a boutique there where there's only shit that you can buy there. You know what I'm saying? But like one thing like that everybody the doesn't restaurant? know that Gucci, not Gucci, but uh Italy makes all the fly designer shit. Yeah. So they shit is like cheap as fuck out there, bro. Because really? it's all like yeah. Italian leather and shit. You said like you that. bought two Gucci shirts for like three hundred bucks. Like three, four hundred bucks. Are you joking? No. How That's much crazy. was the Goyard shit? The Goyard shit was like cheap. And then this is the good thing too, is that whatever you buy in Italy, when you go to the airport, you get your taxes back. So you get twelve percent back off of everything. Rebate. Yeah, basically. What? Yep, at the end yeah, of because it. I remember you you sent us a video at the Goyard store, and I was like, I was thinking in my head, it's probably not that much cheaper, but that's why I didn't ask you to bring nothing. But if I if I knew it was going to be that much cheaper, bro, I got to tap there. Hell of shit. Okay, what was the first thing you did like when you first got there? You checked into the hotel? Um, I went to, I think I, I, I flew into Venice, and then- Venice Beach? No. <laughs> <I'm> joking. <laughs> I did not. I know he's not. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, bro, it was, it was just dope seeing like- all the differences and stuff like that. Yeah. And the food, you know, I'm used to nigga pasta, you feel me? <laughs> and the pasta out here, bro, like, you eat the pasta, you feel so tired. Like, you feel me? It's, mm. it's terrible. So what, what eat do you, that shit. What are you doing on an average day, though? Like, you're just walking around, going to get food, you're chilling? Doing, you're doing everything. Really? You're going to eat. We're going, like, we went to go see The Last Supper. We mm. did that shit, you know what I'm saying? That shit was crazy, bro. Like, it what is it, like Italian? a fucking opera or something? <laughs> no, the Last Supper is where you know, oh, they the got painting. the painting. Oh, pa the actual Last Supper. The actual Supper. painting of, of, of Jesus with Judas and everything, and they wow. break down like the history and shit like that. Wow. It's crazy, too. And you know, like, for people who like don't believe in God and stuff like that, they. Have, <coughs> Adam. Yeah, Adam. <coughs> so, like, prime example. They like, had, I'm embarrassed. Like, <laughs> like, it's a secret. They had people try to destroy, like, the building. And what? everything will crumble except like the painting, bro. It's Adam crazy. and his people trying to get for like years and shit. Adam, oh. they they failed. Jesus protected that painting. He did. Shout out to him. What a great guy. Yes. He's almost like godly ah. in a way. Stop. <laughs> godly. <laughs> Just leave it. Godly he's, power. He's crazy. That's cool. Um, okay, but so once you like get into the groove, though, do you start to like? Kind of miss home, or like was it weird for you to be away from all your usual devices out here? Um, no. Because, it, bro, it was it, it was dope seeing, like, all the architecture and stuff, too. Yeah. And, like, while I was out there, bro, the fucking <clears throat> RB shit happened. And, like, my <laughs> phone was, like, flying ding, off ding, the ding, handle. Ding, ding, ding. And mind you, I'm a, I have an 11-hour difference. Right. So when the shit is happening, I'm just seeing, like, my phone, like, fans is up. We could tell because we were all talking about it and you're not saying anything in the group chat. I'm like, oh, <laughs> man, wait till he wakes up. <laughs> 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 no, nah, but it was dope, though, too, because, like, like, when when the when the RB shit happened and I seen how mad like the fans was, I was like, damn, like I really turned this into something that people are like invested in and shit like nah, that. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying too? So you know, my guy Adam hit me up and he was like, Hey bro, let's let's uh you should make a restaurant, you know what I'm saying? Put that shit together. And Cost I was like, burger. let's did do you it. see did you see any of our uh of us talking about your I, different restaurants? I, I watched the whole episode, bro. 
<laughs> Bro, that was one of the funniest parts of the episode was that. But the meme nigga made the fucking bagel shit that was like, I was like, ooh, this oh, is perfect. Yeah. Speaking of the meme, dude, what did you think of the Hash Brown Town tour? The Hash Brown Town tour was dope. I found out a lot about Josh. Yes. Yeah, I found out more about Josh They're than like, Adam. He's like a star cricket player. Everybody, we I thought need, it was lacrosse. All the hard, it was. He keeps calling it cricket for some reason. But all the hardcore No Jumper fans, go to YouTube and type in Hash Brown Town tour. Nashua No Jumper Tour, and you'll find it. It's like a five minute video that he made. That I mean, he got some good clips of my mom talking in there. That, where, what was that from? That was from a skate park meet and greet that I did like last time I went to Nashua, which was like what, like three years ago, three, four, four years, years ago? ago? Yeah. What the fuck? So my mom pulled up and is just talking to all the kids about random shit about that was me fire. and shit. I were you there? Obviously, yeah, obviously yeah, you were yeah, there. Yeah. Right? Like a long ass line of people just wanting to take pictures with me outside the skate park. I bet your mom was probably tripped out. Like, damn, like this this little fucker used to go to the skate park all the time. Now look at him. I know. That's fucking dope. I'm I, not gonna lie. I, I kind of was upset though. Why? Because in the you know he was sending me the videos. He had put a picture of Beast Cuz on like the city hall. <laughs> yeah, and why he was didn't include that there? in the video? That is I know, true. Huh? And I told Adam, I was like, hey, I should bring Beast Cuz back. He's like, I hate Beast Cuz. It was a dope tour. Free Beast Cuz. Tell him in the comments. I felt like the there wasn't as much humor <laughs> in it as I was expecting because he's so funny on Instagram yeah. that the tour was more straight up. I honestly, bro. He deserves a job just like how good he did, bro. I know, because I was, but that's why I was waiting to see the video because I'm kind of thinking like, bro, this guy gets no jumper yeah. so well. Maybe we should hire him. Maybe we should have him doing memes and this kind of stuff. I felt like the tour was going to give me like more of an idea of who he was. He didn't mm. really go that angle. Oh, because he's from there too, right? He's from right around the corner. That's in, uh, fucking Merrimack. insane. He could be like the, the cootie of no <laughs> jumper. Well, who's cootie? Travis cootie. You ain't seen the, the Kanye The Kanye doc? I forgot that was his name. I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> forgot. But I was surprised when I seen Josh on there. I was like, this is like a half Adam, half Josh, or, like a Josh origin that's, story. That's why I thought it was interesting. It, it getting a little deeper into the story. And he was like, Bro, yeah, this is no wonder he's on No Jumper First sports. of all, Adam was fuck. I mean, not Adam. Josh was dripped the fuck out. His hair was tight. He had an Old Navy uh, he, had, he had like up. a he, no, he had like a button up on with the Old Navy over the button up. Well, My guy no, could have went pro. There's no Gucci Bro, he was store a in Nashua. Beast. So uh, uh, Old Navy is basically like designer for us. Listen, it is <laughs> my respect level for Josh. It was already high, but it like it, it went through the roof. Because he scored a goal that. one time in lacrosse, bro. He was killing it. He did it lacrosse, and he hit your sister. He said, "Great God, <laughs> <laughs> goal!" He, he scored the ultimate goal. No, no, wait, wait. I heard she was holding out until she saw that goal. Stop it. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> wait, do do you still have that fucking Nashua hockey jersey? I need that. I need wow. that with the. Hey, wait, wait. Let did, me wear it for Halloween. Does the C does Josh. the C on the jersey is that stands for captain or something? Yeah. Yes, sir. You in a Nashua jersey with a fucking like a dread wig, just being Josh. I low key want to do like a meet and greet in Hash Brown Town. Just you, yeah. <laughs> just me, <laughs> just you. <laughs> no, but what we gotta we could be... do if we got booked in Boston? Like who who yeah. booked stuff in Boston? Because if we had something in Boston, we could easily we could go. just go on over to Hash Brown Town. See, but no we problem. We would definitely have to bring like fucking a thousand. Hash browns Shooters. from McDonald's. Oh. <laughs> Just pass them out to the crowd. I at least wanted like some recognition for naming it that. Yeah. I mean, honestly, we got to give AD that credit. I want to do a protest at the at the city hall where he put up that flyer. <laughs> the Beast Cuz one? Like, they should give you an award. You want the key to the city? Why won't you just <laughs> the let... The key to the city, Why yes, won't Josh? you let Beast Cuz come back, man? Yeah. I think Beast Cuz... Okay, these are things I would be okay with. I would be okay with you like coming out as Beast Cuz and then removing the helmet. And it's the dedication. If you want yeah. to do Beast Cuz on your show, that would be one thing. <laughs> Look, Josh is like, <laughs> our show is like a little more wild anyway. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you might be getting, you might get a little too worked up on that. But I think t Rell should dress up like a kitty cat as well. And like Duno <laughs> should be like a possum. And like if everybody wow. kind of had a different a possum. Costume, I don't know. Or what, what should he be? Furby. A furry? A Furby? <laughs> <laughs> we just turned into like no jumper costume. Hey, y'all remember Furbies? Oh, yeah. yeah. He was like, me hungry. <laughs> this shit would not shut the fuck up. Did you have one? You took Nigga, care I used one? to throw them motherfuckers in the closet. They'd wake you up all night. But you like Pokemon, too, so it makes sense to me. Pokemon was lit. Wait, it used to snore? The motherfuckers oh, yeah. used to You'd snore, have to do all kinds of shit. No, you have a Tamagotchi? <laughs> Tamagotchi, Which yeah. That? Oh, that's a little, the little, little, little game. Yeah. The little game thing where you'd have to take care died. of it. I never had it. All my niggas died. Wait, they would die in the thing? Yeah, yeah, if you don't feed them. I don't remember. But that's the scary. Furby, you had to like put your finger on their tongue and they'd be like, mm, that's hey, fucking mm. weird. I have a question. You ever take 
your kid to a fucking like we took our kid to a gym class. It's like a room. Heroes. Heroes. That was fire. Okay. <laughs> Take a look at my girlfriend. <laughs> she's the only one I got. Da, like, da, da, da. Okay. Bad no, it's like it's like a room like in a fucking strip mall with like just mad like oh, crap yeah. that like a one year old kid, two year old oh, kid would really yeah. play my, with. My my niece goes to that shit all the time. It's called Monkeys. What's the shit called? I forgot the company. It's a big one. But know. it's in all the malls and they, they play with other kids. They got obstacle courses. That's kind of fire. It felt like I was taking my kids to the club. It yeah, is kind of like it, that. it's a kids club because it's like all the kids can run around and play and stuff. Wait, but, but do you drop the kid off? No, and, they, no, and then stay. you go no, and you, you go don't. shopping and you that pick the would kid. be lit though. Although it would be a lot harder to make the decision because the kids are gonna be freaking out if you leave and yeah, shit. You know, I know. Bro, that reminds me one time, bro. I took my daughter to this fucking like Discovery Zone shit. Mm -hmm. That's and outside I, already. And I watched her go into this slide. And my nigga. She I, didn't come out? She just didn't <laughs> come out. I was freaking the fuck out, bro, for like 20 minutes. Did you wait? She didn't come out for 20 minutes? Bro, I said, where is my daughter? I could not find her around Stop, this shit. Bro. I'm stressing out. And then I looked, my nigga, and she's holding up all the kids to like <laughs> trying to kick her back to go. You down couldn't the slide. find her for 20 minutes? <laughs> she was in she never came out the slide and she was holding up other kids. What the fuck? Yeah, I was scared as fuck though, bro. That, that ever happened to you at like a like a water slide place or something where you not like you get like stuck going down? Hell no. That's no. I mean, what am I, 400 like pounds? Like, <laughs> yeah. How did you get stuck? The shit is like, it's water nah. rushing down it. I would be look. scared to, like, to get caught on a water ride. No, nah, look, look, look. Raging Waters had like, it, it wasn't a lot of water flowing out. Is, <laughs> yo, is there a water, a water park around here? Yeah. What, was it? what did we go to? Water Country when we were kids? Yeah, Water Country. They got, um, you got Raging Waters. Soak City. Soak City. You fuck with that shit or you think it's kind of gross? I used to. Until, I used like, to. It's kind of nasty, Now you right? think about it, motherfuckers be peeing in the wave pool and yeah, shit. Yeah, once you grow up and realize you're floating in, like, somebody else's, like... Dude, I watched this whole pool. video about what percentage of, of pools are made of pee. Made and of even pee? Even, like, best case scenario, there's a lot of pee in there. What do you mean by made of pee? I mean, pee? don't the chlorine kill it? It's supposed to, but I don't think it kills that much of it. Josh like, said 10, or 10 to 20% of the pool is pee. Yeah. That's fucking Have insane. Have you ever seen somebody shit in the pool? When like, I was a kid, yeah, and they have to drain the whole fucking pool. I don't know, but I might they be thinking drained of the entire shack. pool. Am I thinking of Caddyshack or am I? Uh, did this act? No, it did happen to me. Like, nah, you made no, some no, shit no, up no. right now. The Nashua Watch pool the downtown in the Nashua pool. With me and my mom and my fucking sister went there one day, and some kid had shit themselves in the pool. And we knew because we walk up and the pool is like halfway empty. They had to drain the whole pool <laughs> from one turd. Why didn't they just grab like the fucking leaf thing and just scoop the turd up? Because Ugh. then you still got turd particles going crazy in the pool. <laughs> it's all floor. broken up. <laughs> <laughs> but you ever seen Caddyshack where someone drops a Snickers bar in the water and then they have to... They, they, <laughs> That'd be kind of a good prank. Freaking out. No, but I remember when I was in Thailand when I was 19 or 20 or some shit that mm. we snuck in. We met some girls. They take us to their hotel. We're chilling and stuff. We kind of realized that we don't really like the girls. So we all... We what all, was wrong with them? There's, you know, whatever. We just don't give a fuck about them. So we hop in the pool. I see my homie swimming to the deep end. And then all of a sudden I see him pedaling back really, really fast. And then I see some snakes floating in the water. In they, the fucking they pool? They have both cut turds in the pool. Oh, I thought you meant like, actual snakes. Oh, I think they were trying to like do something gross to like piss the girl off so she would like so fuck off. <laughs> shit in the pool. I swear to God, they had some anacondas swimming towards us oh. in the pool, bro. Bro. That's disgusting. Why they couldn't just be like, hey, yo, I'm not fucking with y'all. Like, you got a shit in the pool. But sometimes you don't want to just tell a girl you don't fuck with her. Sometimes you want to drop a hot turd in the pool. <laughs> I think you can get a charge for that these days. Yeah. For dropping a turd? <laughs> yeah. See, that's like why the game is so exposure. fucked up, man. The game is fucked up. I can't even drop a turd? Nah. You damned if you do, you damned if you don't. You like, you go on a turds? date, like, this date's not going well. <laughs> exactly. Imagine <laughs> that. To your Tinder date? Bro. If they just go to the bathroom, wait, wait, wait. come back and like, daylight? Of, take a shit of, on the ground like daylight. <laughs> speaking of Tinder, I know y'all didn't watch this. Tinder Swindler? You watched it? Yes, yeah, motherfucker. Funny. You we watched, watched everything too? before My you. Nigga, we talked about this like three weeks ago. Did y'all? We ate one, man. We, yeah, we, we watched everything. Fuck you guys. Same money. Fuck. My enemies are Nobody. after me. <laughs> my enemies. Send me 100 grand. My enemies are after <laughs> me. Hey, wait, wait. Okay, I okay. sent a picture still, of a turd. Me and my girl still say that shit all the time. Hey, you sent a picture of a turd? My enemies are shitting. <laughs> okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay. I might be. Did you guys watch Bad Vegan too? No, I only watched the first episode. Bro, uh, that's the bo most boring episode. You got to get past the first episode. It wasn't episode. that good, yeah, but I'm no, trying no, to get no, back no, into no, it. No, 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 Bro. No, 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 no. Start the second episode and just watch it from there. It's literally, if you thought Tinder Swindler was crazy, 
Watch bad vegan, You literally bro. just said crazy league. I like it. They're all bad vegans, if you ask me. Bro. Eat a fucking T-bone. If you thought the Tinder swindler was the finesser, no, nigga. The bad vegan? Bad vegan is the real finesser. I feel like the real Tinder swindler is Myron. <laughs> <laughs> if you DM 100 girls. That's not Myron. You get, ten, <laughs> you get 10 of them to reply. <laughs> no, but I feel like the Tinder swindler should totally go on Fresh and Fit, don't you think? That'd be fucking classic. Oh, my God. He could put them on game for sure. You know yeah, what I, you know he what got I mean? the real sauce. You know what I've been watching? I would buy a course from him. Mm. I've been watching Peacemaker. You need to watch that. What's DC. Up? Really? Probably yeah. the best intro of all time I've ever seen. You need a pacemaker. I got no Fuck. patience for watching fucking superhero bullshit. But it's, it's <laughs> like, he's literally you. If you were like... Well, uh, he does porn and has a well, podcast. He has a, a white supremacist dad. <laughs> and <laughs> Shut up, Phil. And yeah. He has, he has a fucking... That describes you, Phil. Yeah, he has Phil a, 22. His, his best friend is an eagle. Like It's, it's like... It's like dark com. It's like dark comic. Like it's like the boys. You seen the boys before? We used to talk about yeah, the boys yeah, every yeah. week. Yeah, I used okay. to talk it's about like the It's like the boys. Okay. Yeah. Pause. Damn. I, so I, I'm like, really oh, late on all this. They're stuff. like Batman isn't. He's like Batman's a pussy. He say shit like that. Like he ain't what? Yeah, he say shit like that. But he'll be literally talking about Batman. Yeah. That's fire. I just popped a Percocet. I feel like Batman. What spoiler? Your main bitch and her best friend. You ready for a spoiler? I got 500. Bitch, give me a lap dance. Mm. I just spent a thousand dollars on these, these black, black pants. Mm -hmm. What song is that? Show you, oh, back end. Uh, Show you yeah. how to chop a brick. I'm like Jack Chan. Uh -huh. um, I got the utmost respect for the crackheads. Mm -hmm. I asked him about like almost every lyric in that song in the interview. But the one when I asked him about the fucking Batman line, he said, I go like, what's, what's up with that line? He's yeah. like, no, nah, that ain't about Batman. That's like, <laughs> he's like, that's just a dude from my hood. <laughs> they call him oh, Batman. For real? <laughs> that's hard as fuck. Maybe perks or whatever. And I'm like, well, that, we all thought it was funny because we're picturing like, that's why Batman is out here yeah, beating up criminals. <laughs> I turn, when I heard that, I'm like, <laughs> you turn into a superhero after you take the perk. Funny, we're all singing along that line and we don't that's even a, know this that's guy. That's the best line. Nah, you know, uh, PZ and fucking Ralphie have been dropping music together. Oh, so fire, bro. Oh, the fight the force. That one, that, no, they dropped another one like I think like last week. Watch. My PZ interview when it drops, it's fucking fire. Oh, you just did it. Uh, didn't you do one back in the day? No. A couple years ago? No, I didn't even I, know about PZ until I found out about Rio. What? That's no, crazy. Late. Bro, that, he, he's the origin of P. all P. that shit. He's the pioneer, man. He's mm. the origin. He's the pioneer. You know, I was... Uh, you I said was, Pino? I said P.O. I don't know why. <laughs> I was dealing with this girl who really likes all that type of music and like... Took a shit after she said played the music. No, 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 no. I was trying to, uh, I was trying to put her on to Peasy, and she was just like, I don't, she was just like, I don't know, man. Like, I'm not fucking with. It. Oh, I said she this didn't before. Fuck with, no, oh, I, thought I was I told saying the, story. the shit in the pool thing. But what, uh -oh. she, wait, like, she like she be? loves Rio. She loves uh, RMC Mike. Like she loves all that shit. I'm not gonna lie. When I first heard Peasy, it wasn't my favorite. But then I like listened to like you got to really dive a, in a couple times, no, and then all of a sudden, yeah, that's what I'm saying. All of a sudden, he was like my favorite rapper. No, I'm saying if you if you do your due diligence and you listen. Bro, that nigga is fucking gas, bro. And I see why they all put the respect on him because, bro, he's just a nigga. Interview is so ghetto good. boys, nigga. We the new death row. Come on. Ask him all about that. I asked him if calling someone ghetto is offensive. You do it, yeah. <laughs> if you call yourself ghetto, it's okay. No, because the example Not I brought you, up but. is because one time I was with DJ Scheme and he was like going to do a, a DJ performance at a club and he pulled up with like me and like 20 other people. Yeah, of and course. the club is like I don't, I don't know if they ever let like a DJ come in with that many people, but they definitely were not trying to let, and this is like his first, like not really? like first, but like I think one of his first club bookings in Hollywood or whatever. And the fucking guy comes out and he's just like, they're, they're arguing for, back and forth for a little while because because Scheme's not trying to like leave everybody outside. And the guy's just like, you come up in here acting all ghetto. And oh my God, that fucking air got sucked out of the room yeah. because everybody's already heated. And then he says that it was. It, it That's felt probably like, the worst thing. It felt say. like he said the n word, and it just got like really weird. And I, I was thinking about it though. I'm like, part of why it was weird is because like scheme is not ghetto at all. Because yeah. Peasy's like, I am ghetto. You could call me ghetto. I am the fucking definition of ghetto. Like you know, if you if you feel like that, then you're not going to be that offended by it. But this dude's saying it's a scheme. Who's like really not? I would not ever use that word to describe him. Mm. It got weird. What happened? What was the end result? Did they let Did they let the twenty people in? No, I don't know. I, th <laughs> I, I think I ended up just leaving you at left? some point. I think we all hung out in the it parking was like, lot this for like is black on black violence. We hung out in the parking lot for like two hours. I don't know. I don't what? know what happened. He just starts DJing in the parking lot. <laughs> yeah, turn it up. He puts the ox cord on and just starts going crazy. No, but that was weird because I never go to clubs and all of a sudden I'm seeing like just random like fucking like rappers that I've interviewed and stuff and they're just hanging out at the club and like yeah. nobody even knows who they are and I'm just like, oh shit, you just hang out here? Fuck. 
Bro, that's welcome to LA life, man. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm glad I'm out of it. Yeah, but I, I'm still down to do a club hosting with AD if he gets that set up. Bro, you I'm know what's so fucked up is I just got an offer to host a metaverse event. That's crazy. And it's like a bag where I actually I, have to do it. I'm not You're coming. Not coming. <laughs> I know what you want to do. <laughs> AD, come he's, in this room. He's going to try to take you to some side room. That's actually, exactly what I told them, like, I'm trying to fuck my homie in the metaverse. <laughs> so, uh. Look, they, they literally set up this whole thing just so Adam can get some AD, but. Yo, you know I'm going to be making so many AD jokes on the fucking metaverse. Thing. No, I'm going to get a shirt that says, I love our AD. Bro, why would you do that? Like, I, I love NY shirt. That's <laughs> yeah, what. But, how about that for merch? That's kind of a good. Just, I love it. Wait, wait, wait. Like, but the I heart. Love NY. The heart should be a roast beef sandwich in the shape of a heart. No. The heart is made of meat. Or it's a blue heart. No, it's blue a roast blue beef. Blue heart. <laughs> or just blue. Just blue. That sounds so gross. Yeah. Blue <laughs> roast <laughs> beef. <laughs> <laughs> Blue roast beef. That's you gonna how, eat that, you're going to turn into a fucking Smurf. That gonna, should be your thing at Compton Burger is you sell, sell Blue Roast Beef we sandwiches. We never said that's going to be called Compton Burger. No, that's listen. Stopping. That's listen. just a... Did you hear my name? Your shit, Ar- Armand's Deli? I had the Deli? best one. I had the Armand's best one. Deli? AD's Armand's Deli. You trying to blame me like, I want to eat no fucking root Chris from over from him. <laughs> yeah, right. He had your fucking... Then he's going to come in and colonize it afterwards. This like, is but, Adams. This is the no jumper. <laughs> it's going to take a while before I want to buy a $400 steak from you. I think that as a, as a restaurateur, you should start out a little bit lower. Listen, I didn't know who the fuck Gordon Ramsay was, but... The, obviously, yeah, I can be fucking Gordon Ramsay. What what are your accolades? Like, what what, what have you accomplished in I didn't the food know, industry? I, I didn't I know eat a lot of food. Yep, every day actually. You're not getting any pushback on that. <laughs> I eat food every day. I go to nice restaurants. I know what type of food it is. Mm. I'm saying like when a clothing company comes out and just wants to make their hoodies like four hundred dollars, but nobody's ever heard of them and they're not popping and nobody gives a shit. It's just like, what the fuck are you talking about? How the fuck are you gonna say that about but, me? But then when Bitch. Louis when Louis comes out and they're like, oh, our our hoodies are five hundred dollars. It's like, well, you are Louis. You do have see, stores and all the biggest most you areas. You, you have can't all the do best that designers. With food though, because if food tastes amazing, yep. your stock will go up the fucking roof. Yeah, watch, I just don't watch know Bad he, Vegan. I don't think the average community subscriber is in mm-hmm. the market for a four hundred dollar steak, but I do think I that don't want to charge. I think that. they might cop a nine dollar burrito. I'm with that. Or Full like of a, blue roast beef. What about a five dollar bagel? Bagel, no. That's not enough. We gotta charge more. Yeah, you gotta charge like t- like That's eight dollars. I need you to partner with exactly. me. <laughs> charge <laughs> more. Yeah, <laughs> for real. Charge more oh, for real. No. What, what what are those like Jewish bagels called? Where this, lox. Yeah, them shits are low key be kind of good. I love a lox bagel, nigga. I always thought that was so weird growing up. Like you niggas eating sliced salmon on a fucking that bagel with fucking cream amazing. cheese, and Every then I once ha- in a while Jews think up something that just goes crazy that nobody else would ever <laughs> think of. Like I would, the, none of these other cultures are trying to put cream cheese and fucking salmon together, right? Bro, nah. that shit is really good. I'm not gonna lie, that's crazy. Well, you could also have a really shitty one. It depends on where you but get it from. It's like the curly sideburns. Who the fuck thought of that? They they just stay rocking it. The Drip is crazy. Uh, Jack in the Box. <laughs> what? Cur- <laughs> that big white head thing? He don't got fucking curly sideburns. No, I'm thinking they got curly, curly fries. fries. Oh. <laughs> that Jack in the Box. Speaking, hey, that's speaking, speaking of food, I seen the first episode of me and Duno's food review show. That shit looks fucking amazing. I need to I really know like when, you, when Adam it, agrees. I want to. I want to go to Cougar Burger. Yes. I want to do all that shit, man. It's funny though because they went and they they hit like a, a regular ass Mexican spot. That was probably, I don't know, like 30 bucks for the whole meal. That shit was fire. And then they hit a fucking sushi restaurant that's like five grand. Shout out to Chef Val, man. Yeah, look, if, if we do a Cougar Burger, we got to go to Cougar Burger first, and then we got to go to somewhere. I'm bringing a Blammy. I'm letting you know. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Cougar Burger? It's not in a nice area. I want to go bro, to... Bro, uh, it's literally fine, it is bro. It's not in a nice Let's area. Let's go back to Hawkins. I already went there for a vlog. But Hawkins is not a nice area, but the food is fire. Are you mm. going to come there wearing neutral colors? Who? You. I'm welcome over there. Okay. Wait, yeah. but listen. If we go to Kill Cougar Burger... Me, I could wear a purple hoodie. If we go to you Cougar... Get killed. <laughs> <laughs> if we go to Cougar Burger, we got to go somewhere nice after, too. Yeah, Booger Burger. Booger Burger? What if you can make a burger that tasted kind of like boogers, Why? but good? Adam... <laughs> This is bad podcast. Be honest. Do you, <laughs> do you hate the way boogers taste, or do you just hate boogers taste? Because I mean, how many boogers just, have you ate? A shitload. Yeah, me too. I, back I in the day, I honestly quit a few years ago. You know, a what? few. It, Nigga, it you are bad. almost forty, bro. I was bad. <laughs> what do you mean you, a few? I was bad. I need you to specify a few. Listen, I'm just not gonna be saying, bro. Else. You know who tried that though? 
What? Eating boogers? No. So Putting, so making a booger, booger, booger burger? No, no. They tried to make the booger like the booger jelly bean because of the Harry Potter shit. Fuck no. Oh, the, you ever have like those? The, those it's jelly like beans that taste gross? Like that is All, most jelly beans taste gross. No, no, no. But they no, they made Harry Potter ones that taste like dust and yeah, dirt like, and like trash. Booger and, and fucking earwax and shit like what? that. What? Gross. Yeah. And you eat them? Yeah. I, honestly, I never had them because I fucking found the whole concept disgusting. No, 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 no. Have you ever been like on tour and you stop at some random gas station and they have like like hot sauce soda, ranch soda. You ever seen that before? No. Bro. I walked in there, they was eating fucking, they was drinking like a hot Cheeto drink or something. You I niggas said, are no, fucking it was, weird. It was hot Mountain Dew. Yeah, That's hot, how, Mountain Dew. Would, hot Mountain Dew. Flaming Hot Mountain I would literally slap that shit out of your head. It was a Mark, Mountain that Dew. shit tasted so good it wasn't that hot. Bro, that it sounds. Just, it was like Mountain Dew with a little hit. That, that sounds that. like it's going to like give your urethra a fucking <laughs> bacterial you infection. It. You would have loved it. I would have loved it. You would have loved it. It was amazing. We, everybody who drank it fucked with it. I didn't Josh is shaking Josh his head no. no. And I trust Josh. Well, he's opinion. a custer from the wrong side of Ashburn <laughs> town. Wait, wait, wait. So Nashville was split up into two different schools? Yes. Was it school beef? Well, it only the year I graduated was the last year that it was one high school. Back in like the 1940s? And then I graduated in 2002. Fuck you. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, 2003, so you were in on, it was split up. You were in 11th grade when 9-11 happened? Yes. You remember that shit like it, like you was there. I was. Well, I wasn't there. I was, he like, was like, I don't give a fuck about this shit. Like I want to check off. five-hour drive away. Yeah, no. I was just riding BMX. Honestly, I didn't really give a fuck. Bro, they fuck. you didn't give a fuck about that? That I shit mean, was I crazy. It was pretty fucked up, but I, I don't remember like dwelling on it too mm. much. I was just kind of like, oh, I remember we're going like, to the skate park. Fuck they it. bought the TV in the fucking in the, in the classroom. School. On the little rolly thing. we watched that, and my teacher was like, oh, my God. I was fuck, like, this is crazy. That, that shit was. Did you up. actually think it was crazy, or were you like, it's a war outside, so Man. fuck this? No, bro. It, it's a war outside. Compton. <laughs> I've never seen no shit like that, like on like on national television, bro. Yeah, that, that shit, shit was, was crazy. crazy. I was Speaking in, of, you know it was quite similar. What? Watching Will Smith smack the shit oh, out of Chris sure. Rock. It was that really that was <laughs> that was like okay, obviously it's very different than 9-11 because nobody died. That was the crazy. Someone got joke. a little bit hurt, but it was like Every single person in America saw it, thought about it, talked about it, witnessed it, could not believe it. Or even if you didn't watch it right when it happened, you saw it five seconds later My on girl social media. Me, yeah, instantly. I'm on Twitch. Was she crying? She said, How they do it to Chris? Chris? <laughs> Why does Linda it's love not, Chris? Rock? It's not yes. safe. No, she used to Adam date him before leave. me. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. What? Linda dated Chris Rock. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Wait, literally? No. <laughs> what am I saying? <laughs> I'm literally like, bro, this nigga is convincing me right now. I would have now. a hard time like dealing with that. Why? You're too funny. Like, how the fuck yeah, am I, I going to compete with that? Yeah, you're not funny at all, yeah. too. So it's like. So that, like. <sighs> okay, wait. So. Because <laughs> I was going to say something, but it didn't make sense. So I just stopped myself. Bad podcasting. Bad uh -huh. podcasting. Okay, so. Call back. When I first saw the. Uh, when I first saw the thumbnail before I clicked on it, I was like, this is fake. Like, <laughs> right? the way his hand was, the way his face, the way Chris like it's Rock's... It's an old-timey duel. Bah! Yeah, like, I was just like, okay, this is fake. The, the, the thing that blew my mind, too, is the way that when Will Smith is walking towards him, and I don't know how much, like, martial arts training he's done or whatever, but his body really doesn't, like, reveal that he's going to slap him. Yeah. And then at that one instant, he just, like, very fluidly lifts his hand and, like, puts his all into it. Like, yeah. it felt like he had been training to hit someone like that because he did it so perfectly. Like, think about how much more... He had more, practice. He did it before and a guy tried to kiss him. Think about how much more likely it would be mm -hmm. that Chris Rock puts his hands up. That, or, that like, Chris ducks flinches, or something. moves, like that, and that the blow doesn't land so perfectly, which... Would have been good, I guess, because we get hurt less. But it would have been so much less viral if it didn't just land flush across his face. You know, I didn't, I didn't necessarily uh, take into consideration his body language, but you are completely right. It was maybe Chris Rock probably thought he was coming up on stage to grab the mic and say something. That or... would have been something. But I, I think in Scientology, this is what they're mm -hmm. saying. In the Scientology world, it's like that's a normal thing to do. If somebody disrespects you or whatever, you fucking smack them across the face. Mm. That's kind of like I challenge you to a duel. You put the oh, fucking glove on the <laughs> That's why it felt like a return to like an old timey thing because people just don't hit each other in professional environments anymore. Bro, the, oh, no. the memes are fucking amazing. Yes. I got to shout out Remix of Sway God. That's what I was looking for on my phone. I want you to hear this. <laughs> I wonder how many people made these type of songs. Yeah, listen. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> 
This nigga uh, killed it. <laughs> he <laughs> killed it. Shout hard. out to Sway, the remix guy for that. That was crazy. Okay, now that you've had a couple of days to think about it, what are your thoughts on the fact that this happened? Who's in the wrong? Who's in the right? What? Like, how do you feel about it? Will's Will's wrong. Will issued an apology, so it seems that he at least is admitting some mm. wrongdoing. I kind of feel like they were going to take his fucking award away if he didn't apologize. I don't know if that's why he apologized, because I also believe that he probably feels bad about the whole thing. Yeah. But I also feel like maybe to the Academy Awards, if he didn't apologize, then it would look bad. And maybe now they're like, all right, we'll let him keep the award because he apologized. Well, like, if they were going to do that, though, maybe they wouldn't have even gave it, given but it to I him. I don't think they had a fucking option. Like, in that in the heat you of the know, moment, they got, option. like, 10 minutes to decide what the fuck they're going to do. They can't not give the award out. Yeah. They yeah. can't change they can't the winner. It. Yeah. You know, it's You're like, right. and think about it. This is a situation they've never had to deal with before. Ever. They've never even thought about this happening. They didn't let some niggas in the dough. Like, think, <laughs> think about, think about when Kanye ran up on Taylor Swift. What if Kanye would have smacked Taylor Swift? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. When Kanye ran up there on Taylor Swift, it was so viral that even Obama had to say something. Yeah. Like that was the most viral thing ever. This asshole and, Kanye. And nobody was. got hit. Nobody got hurt at all. Well, this is like a real blow was landed. Will Smith slapped the shit out of me. He really did. I, I'm i really like stuck on the part where you said his body language didn't give off the fact that he was going to smack him. And, but like, what did Chris Rock really think that he was about to do? But probably like if I'm Chris Rock, I'm know. thinking that you know? him saying something into the mic is more likely than him hitting me. Exactly. Him. I don't know, like staring That's the number me in one. the eye. Like it seems like that. Like all those other things are actually more likely than him hitting him. I think the number one was the first one you said, like, oh, him just grabbing the mic or saying something, giving him a hug, like saying something. I like, would have beat know? the dog shit out of Will Smith because you know what? If he Will, ate it, if Will Smith he ate it, but boy, Chris Rock a better nigga than me. If Will Smith had taken the mic and said, "Chris, I understand you're a comedian and you're here to make us all laugh, but, but keep my, my, my wife, my wife has a." A, a condition she's very sensitive about it etc cetera, etc cetera. i think we might all be just like universally agreeing like mm. holy shit will smith handed that like a fucking g i think the slap kind of like taints the whole message you know like if, what if he would have said bro, that it was, it, it was bro he lost his cool yeah and which you ultimately lose when you lose your cool at but the look end of the day. what if he would have gave the speech and then smacked them during the speech <laughs> on the butt like a little ah. no that's like what uh, if he had kicked them in the ass Okay, but you, 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 <laughs> like you know, you ever see someone really kick somebody in the ass? Like you feel bad for their <laughs> tailbone. Bro, I didn't even get the joke at first. I was like GI Jane, and then I, and then I showed her. I was like, oh, I get it. I, like, I pay so little attention to movies that I'm thinking like, oh, she was in GI Jane. Bro, I read some shit. Like, I don't know who was in GI Jane. No, listen, I don't know. I don't fucking know. I read some shit that even the context of the G.I. Jane actor made it even worse. What so do you mean? it was like the, the actor who played G.I. Jane actress. actress was like cheating on her fucking husband with like a younger Stop. guy. So I think they made that <laughs> shit oh, even wow. more worse than what it was. I, I don't was think like, anybody was thinking about it that deep. No, but maybe no, she did a, because she seemed reading. super offended. Like that face that she made. But you got to think about it. If you have a fucking disease that is causing your hair to fall out. That's scary. Why and, would then, you, and, yeah. and why would you even joke about that shit at the fucking Oscars? But at the same time, I have a lot. I, like, I've had yeah. a bunch of friends over the years who had alopecia. And really? granted, like, Grover. a few of them we might have, like, made some jokes about it. But <laughs> for the most part, you don't really fuck with somebody about it because you do think, like, it's What's pretty the, embarrassing or whatever. But I never would have thought that it would be that offensive. What happens to you with alopecia? You start getting like, spots where your yeah, hair you starts just, falling out. But that's out. it? You're, and like, that, bald. You, you start bald. I'm pretty head. sure hers is real serious where mm -hmm. she, like, that's why she had to shave her head because... It's like bad, mm. like a lot of hair falling out. I'm saying like it's not like a cancer or nothing like it's that. Like you could kill, die from. Right? Yeah, right I mean, there. I didn't want to say it, but look, look at yeah, Kiki my right brother there. got that shit. Big oh, for real? Shout out to Big Ski, man. But I had a homie who was super stressed out for a while, and he got it, and then he like he like got his shit together, and then it went away. Yeah, he went to your transplant person. No. Well, How do you make it go doing away? Doing that for alopecia is pretty funny, though. Yeah, Doc, can you fill the spot in? <laughs> How do you make it go away, though? I don't know what exactly is the cause. Is it stress? Health. Oh, shit, mm. I need to be careful. But three you know, three as, packs of Newports a day and helping. For that to happen to a woman, that is like, <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah, that's yeah. fucked up. And I mean, I, one thing that I've, I feel like has been pretty consistent for anyone who's like talking about this is that 
this incident just doesn't exist in a vacuum. AD was pointing out that he's reading Will Smith's biography yeah. and that he's talking a lot about how he dealt with this feeling of being a coward as a kid mm. because his dad was beating on his his his, his, his mom and I he didn't that. do anything about it. I'm sure that regardless of what happened in the whole situation with Will uh, Will's wife fucking this other dude or whatever, I'm sure there's some feelings mixed up in that. I'm sure the fact that he has been like the internet punchline punch sure. over and over and for over sure. for years. Yeah. All that shit kind of builds up, and he and, and he even said it in his his acceptance speech for yeah. the award. He said, like, when you're a celebrity, you're supposed, you're to, supposed to take all this shit on the chin. You're never supposed to get mad, etc. It seemed like he was kind of acknowledging that that incident was not about Chris Rock. It wasn't it about kind of was that joke was the perfect thing to set him off. But this was like the culmination of a lot of stuff that yeah. he had been kind of dealing with. And I mean, that's the interesting thing about it is that Will Smith really like lives his life with his heart on his sleeve, and has yeah. is really been like a lot more open about the shit that he's going through than the vast majority of other public figures. He literally said, like, in his book, too, that he thought about committing suicide, bro. Mm. Damn, bro. Like, yeah, so, you know, like, it just shows that nobody is above, you know, mental health, you know what I'm saying, real problems and stuff like that. And what we've seen was a real real human moment. People lash out. Shit like that happens and shit like that. Like, I feel like uh, people at home, that don't understand that type of stuff though they just uh they assume once you get to a certain level or mm-hmm. you get you achieve a you know however many accolades or money they think that that changes all that i don't or, think that that's the case at the all problem. it does not at all no in fact it could be worse yeah, i mean i think worse. yeah like i don't know like when i watched will do that I just felt bad for him, honestly. Yeah. Like, I just felt like, holy shit. Like, he's going through it. And you see a lot of people trying to paint it as this, like, purely, like, tough guy thing. I'm like, yes, so he all. stood up for his woman. I had the conversation with my girl. Like, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that I think that Jada probably feels the same way. I said to my girl, I said, how would you feel? We're in the exact same situation. At the porn and awards. I do the, that. At the porn, at the porn, porn awards. awards. At the Avian Awards. Somebody starts making fun of you for doing pregnant porn, and we fucking, I run up on there. Bow. You might have to. She cause, said. Because that's insulting you and the kid. I don't give a fuck. She Bad said. She Adam. said 1% she'd be like, oh, he loves me. And they're like 99% would just be embarrassed and just be mm, like, holy fuck. You made that way because worse. Because now you got everybody. Did you see that fucking comedic rant that. Andrew Schultz went on. That shit was disrespectful as fuck. He, he went stupid. Oh, he. I went, gotta watch that on the way home now. Some fire he jokes. went crazy. Now we don't need to smack him. Yeah, for that. he gotta find Andrew Schultz and what? beat his ass. Oh, but he was yeah. just. I mean, like I, I seen what's her name, Kathy Griffin, also speak up too. Like a lot yeah. of the comedians were like, "Oh, we gotta fucking worry no, about." No, this was bad because this this incident in a in a vacuum. Where it's just like a problem between two people, it's kind of like whatever. Like they they did it, no one got seriously hurt. They're gonna move past it. They're probably gonna be cool. It is what it is. But the idea that this could become like normalized, that you could see this happening to like a lot more like comedians, comedians or, yeah. or I don't know rappers or other people who do stuff on stage who might offend people at some point, it's kind of like a scary precedent if it becomes like a more common thing. Because I just don't think that we want to live in a world where comedians have to be worried about people smacking the shit out of them if they make a bad joke. Well, so. Some, some of them jokes are insensitive. Like the Ari Shafir nigga, what he said <laughs> about that? Kobe and shit. Like, that, you need to get smacked with shit if like that. If I was him, say? I might keep a nice security guard on stage. What? Yeah. No, he, yeah, he, he went, he, but that's his thing. Is he goes, yeah. like when Kobe on, died, yeah. he was going He in. says every bad thing you could possibly think about, about him, Kobe. which I don't think is a wise thing to do. Yeah. When you anybody know? passes away, you're really inviting a lot of negative energy when you do that, you know? Yeah, and, and then people are just going to do that to you when you pass away. When somebody dies, there's like a vacuum of people like where people want to blame somebody and a lot of times you can't because it's like if somebody overdosed like who the fuck you blaming somebody gets shot and you don't know who shot him who are you blaming so it's usually like the first person to make a bad joke about the situation or say something insensitive and then you see all that anger about somebody dying convert into anger at this person for disrespecting the situation so that's why a lot of times when like Things are really, really intense on Twitter. I'm going to be like, I'm just not going to say anything even slightly yeah. spicy smart, smart right man. now because yeah. I don't want to spend the rest of my fucking day getting destroyed by all the mean Karens. It might not even be the day. It might be for the week. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it might yeah, be yeah. like... It might spend a couple of weeks on the uh, fire for yeah, sure. Yeah, for real, man. And um, I don't know. I, I don't know what Andrew Schultz said, but oh, like... Oh, he said some shit. He was going crazy. He said, uh, this is the first time that Will Smith took home an Oscar, and I'm not talking about the gay, guy, gay Mexican guy. <laughs> he shit. made like he made like 20 ball jokes. He was saying some shit. But his point was, if you 
don't want to get made fun of by comedians. Maybe don't no. smack a comedian because he's looking at it like some straight gangster shit. Like, that's my fucking tribe. And yeah. if you want to disrespect us, then we're going to make you a fucking target, which mm. I get it. I respect that, honestly, because if you're a comedian, I think you got to stand with Chris Rock on this. Yeah. I mean, fuck. It's like they're going to like you made the moment so much more like people where, where people are going to talk about it. Nobody like, by would give doing a that. Fuck about her alopecia or whatever. If it wasn't for him doing that, he made it so that every person in, in America the knows about her condition. Now, that or, is true. E or even uh, her being upset about the joke. Like she just rolled her eyes. Like I mean, when you see the footage, he was laughing, and then he looked at her. He looked at her and, and seen how she set it off. Mm -hmm. But but I mean, you know, they pointed out that he made a joke about her before too, a couple of years back. Oh too. yeah. So it's kind of like. Do you remember what the joke was? I, I I listened to it, but I forgot. It was something like. It was in 2016. She wanted to boycott the fucking. Oh, she wanted to boycott uh, the, yeah. the Oscars. And he said, "I don't need to boycott no, no, the no, no, Oscars no. the Let same way." I, 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 that's like me boycotting yeah, Rihanna's Rihanna pussy. Panties. I'm not yeah. invited. That was amazing. That was funny. That was a pretty good joke. No lie. But I mean, that's a different joke. That's like a joke about her acting. Yeah, versus but it, her hair loss. Yeah, I know. But then she was at the Oscars. Well, I guess with Will Smith though. Right. Mm. What do you think about Jaden saying? And that's how we do it. Stop it. That's what you did. <laughs> tweeted that. It has like a million likes. I'm like, bro. Stop it. Do you do that? Like, who who did you smack, Jaden? Like, I don't know. Jaden might be a, smacking he, niggas. He, he, nigga, he's the Karate Kid. He for sure smacked he for somebody. He sure smacking niggas. He up. was the Karate Kid in the movie. Yeah, he was well, the remake. In the remake. I didn't even know that. He's an icon yeah. living. Okay. I'm just an icon living. <laughs> if you're if you're smacking people in the movies, I'm not giving you credit for bro, that, bro. That's, I don't know. Shit, you you think Chuck Norris whoop people ass in real life, don't you? Because doesn't he know karate? Any a martial arts master? I don't Steven know. Steven Seagal. Aren't they all martial arts guys, at least to some extent? He's the karate kid. I don't think Bruce Lee was on shit. Nah, listen. Bruce listen. Lee was with the what? bullshit. No, he was you ain't crazy. seen Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? Conor you're McGregor crazy. would fuck him up, though. Stop that's not it. a real... That's like it's not like completely accurate to history. If you put Conor, Conor McGregor... And Bruce Lee Bruce on the Lee UFC game. On the yeah. UFC game. Bruce Lee? Are you tripping? I would put Bruce Lee against the worst fighter in the UFC right now. Are you beat the dog crazy? Shit this nigga is of, um, crazy. Do you know how far martial arts has come in the past 30 years? What's Bruce Lee going to do when they get him an arm That's bar? like saying... <laughs> he never heard of an arm bar. That's like saying Muhammad Ali yeah, could not beat fight with Mayweather today. Is the, you sound crazy. That's probably fair, too. I mean, no, it striking is not. has have come a long way. Have you seen how Muhammad Ali fights? Bro? I'm yeah. not educated enough to speak on that, but I think when it comes to the martial arts conversation, okay. think about like the, the fucking martial, the karate guys in the early days of the UFC. They got fucking obliterated. But that's not UFC, though. They're not yeah, doing chokeholds and shit yeah. like that. Yeah, I mean, Bruce Bruce Lee, I'm talking about a fight. Bruce Lee against a UFC fighter. Bruce, on the street? Bruce Lee has no knowledge of how to fight on the ground during his lifestyle. Bruce Lee right? gonna whoop some UFC nigga so. ass. He might beat his ass before they get to the ground. I am not the most educated person on this, but Bruce Lee, I don't think it's happening. I think you, you're going to get turned into a custer by a fucking <laughs> third-rate UFC prospect. That's fucking insane. He's crazy for saying that. Pretty sure. If you go play the UFC game, who got the higher ranking? Bruce Lee. Exactly. He, whooping ass. he got 99 overall. Really? Yeah. yeah. He's in the game? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. of course. He's he a fighter. You can't fuck with Connor. Okay, okay. I, I want to say this, but I don't know if people are going to get offended, but... Rest in peace, my boy Kimbo. A lot of people thought the same thing about Kimbo. Like, he was going to come into the UFC That's and just go crazy. Kimbo was fucking everybody up in the backyard. But then all of a sudden, you're around a bunch of dudes who have been training for 10 years plus yeah. to fucking learn to fight. He did end up it's doing different. He did do good in the UFC. But he was always so stiff. He was, yeah, <laughs> but. He was like a little punch man, oh, punch out man. guy. Dude, I, I remember when I first came across. Kimbo Slice on YouTube. Mm. Sock a nigga in the stomach. Bro. <laughs> like, he used to be beating the dog shit out of niggas. The in good the old back days right there. What's that backyard documentary called? It's like dog something. Not bum fights. No, but. <laughs> we got to bring that back. <laughs> yeah, I Bell. forgot. <laughs> <laughs> no, Put it on the dark web. It's a, it's a, Sell it's, it on Patreon. It's about a boxer. Like it's about a boxer that like wanted to be like Kimbo, and he gets into the UFC and shit, too. Really? really? I'm going to find that shit for y'all. That shit's fire. Huh? What's it called? Mm. I don't know. I, I don't think Mazadal is in here. Yeah. Isn't that sick that the fight that we went and saw in Vegas turned into a real fight a couple weeks later? Yeah. What do you mean? At, at Prime. The fucking, uh, the same, at the Prime, same isn't that the same place where Freddie Gibbs fought? Yep. Yeah. 
Wow. It's, People this be the, scrapping in yeah. there. Huh? Prime is like the best, the best, the best place, place to, to fight. In Miami. I was going to say, I was going to say, it's like the, the flyest place to eat in Miami. Best place to catch a fade. Yeah, the food must be terrible if niggas in there angry no, and food, fighting. That food is crazy. Dude, imagine fucking fighting with the itis. Like, you're just like, Yeah, oh, that sounds terrible. Swinging on somebody. Bro, it's like a super nice restaurant. Or imagine bro. imagine nigga get socked at the table next to you. Now you got blood in the mashed potatoes. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Imagine if, if someone got punched in the face and a bunch of blood flew onto your steak, would you just keep eating it anyway? Well, there was blood are probably in there a little bit anyway for having a medium. What, are they, what if they have AIDS? Wow. How do you know that? I don't, have a, a, <laughs> I don't have an AIDS meter. <laughs> Do they give you a free meal if a blood gets in your food? I think they've got it. See, yeah. look, you I found a nail read. in my food one time. They gave us a free, free, Nigga, free food. When I was in Italy. A whole nail? A metal nail, yeah. When, oh, I, well, when I was in like Italy, we got stuck in the elevator for like 30 minutes. Italy Fuck or no. Italy? Italy. We got stuck. I know you fucking tripped out on the low. No, I ain't tripped out. I got it on video, too. It's from Compton. But they gave, they was like, we'll give you a free dessert. They I was that. like, free dessert? Yeah, I need a whole free meal. For being in an elevator for, for 30, 30 minutes? minutes. Oh, 30 gr- minutes? On my girl's birthday, we stuck in the elevator. At oh, the no, restaurant. they would have had to give me the entire meal for free. Realistically, that dessert probably cost you like $3. You think my time is worth $6 an hour? Yeah. I'm going to fucking shank you. Uh, fuck that. I'm not I, coming back. I'm going and, to an Italian jail. And I tried to act like I was shaking up. They was like, nah, nigga. Really? Bro, really? I was like, I'm just so scared. They was like, free dessert? That's <laughs> it? <laughs> Bro, they could have gave you the whole meal for free. I was free. like, give me dessert. <laughs> were, were you the only black person that you saw out there? Or were, were there a, a no, handful? No, there's black people. In like a area. lot? It's, it's a handful. <laughs> when you saw them, were you like... Nah. No solidarity? You know, I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna lie. The whole time I was out there, I was no on my solidarity. P's and Q's. Yeah. Because I to, heard people mm. be pickpocketing like crazy out there. Oh. So I didn't want nobody like bumping to me and do the pull some Oliver Twist shit. You are a lick. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. You, you know lick, nigga. You, you do the lick. thing where you where you strap all your cards <laughs> in your cast to your chest with like a little belt thing. <laughs> what the you fuck? seen that? Like hey, when you no. travel overseas, you're supposed to have this weird like belt thing with your wallet right here. They so tell they can't me that like, do not put your passport in your backpack. Mm. Oh yeah, that's a fact. So everybody everybody's walking past me, I'm like this. <laughs> I'm making sure nobody bumps into me. Were you telling everybody like, yo, I'm a rapper? No, that's oh. stupid. Wait, but then what? Like, nigga, I'm not going to feel a nigga hand going into my back pocket pause. They're supposed like, to be that good. They're really good. And nigga, they got nothing to live never. for. So they fucking take your shit and they run for their life like nothing else matters. And I seen somebody at the train station. Like, like, we was walking by. He kind of looked at the corner like this. Hell no. And I was like, what's up? <laughs> the nigga was like. Bro. And he did this again. Stop. I was it. like, about to beat this nigga ass. When we I, got the wrong nigga today. I, I was in Italy for like <laughs> one day when I was like 19. We went we went to Europe and we're traveling between like London and Amsterdam or wherever. I forget which direction we we're going, but mm-hmm. we were in Italy for one day. As soon as we get there, we fucking lock all our bikes outside this restaurant and we go get some pizza. When I come out, my fucking handlebars are super loose. Like somebody came up with a wrench, even though our bikes were locked up, <laughs> and loosened the bolts on my stem, and they must have just stopped because we were coming out. But I had to fucking tighten my stem up and shit. But my they almost took my handlebars. Can you imagine how stupid I would have felt? Like, you Italian like, niggas! I'm in Europe with no handlebars. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, you could have bought another one. With no handlebars. I could have been a queen no song. No handlebars. Yeah. Well, he's has a queen song? Isn't it? No, nigga, that's a... Bohemian Rhapsody, great movie. <laughs> Isn't that a Queen song? No, it's like uh, it's like that one group that... Uh, it was like a group that rapped and did like weird rock reggae uh, songs. Why too. is my memory so bad? I can't believe you said Queen. Yeah, I'm, about, I'm about to find that song right now. What, what, what Queen say? Like, oh, I like to ride my bicycle. <laughs> 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 it was something like that, right? Oh, shit, we got porn on here. Hold oh, on. shit. I was like, bro, what the... Who's OnlyFans you on? He's on Reddit. No. Wow. <laughs> oh, no, I forgot. I got the thought screen, so you can't see it anyway. Everybody head no, on I've over. PlugTalkShow.com. I have a scene that dropped today featuring Kazumi and wow. Jenna Fox. Jenna Fox told me that she was she lost her virginity in a porn scene. She was a virgin stripper for a year, and then somebody got her to do porn, and she lost her virginity on camera. Isn't that the craziest thing you ever heard? That That's honestly crazy. is, I, out of all your porn stories, that might be the craziest. Isn't that insane. Also, that song was by Flowbots. Flowbots. I've never heard of that. You never heard that song? In my life. I can ride my bike with no handlebars. You ever hear of the Wiggles? <laughs> the Wiggles. The West Fruit Wiggles. salad. <laughs> yummy, 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 yummy. That's fucking do you, hilarious. Do you show Parker the Wiggles? You should. She's starting to get into it. Yeah. 
Blues Clues. Her number one thing though is Happy Birthday right now. I don't like the new Blues Clues. They got a new nigga on there. It's an Asian nigga now. Yeah. Oh, what? I don't fuck with Diversity? I don't, he's uh, a custer. Can't do that. Mm-mm. Custer. Why uh, is he a custer? Um, no, but the, the fucking... My kid, literally, no matter what happens, if she falls down and hits her head... Anything. If Why I pick, are you always dropping if, Parker? If, yeah, you, you. She drops herself, bro. She she's fucking have, jumps off his shit like it's going out of style. But no, she goes, she goes, happy, happy, happy. <laughs> she wants happy birthday so bad. She just yells, happy, happy. Even, she'll be crying so bad. Happy, happy. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> and it's tough because she like won't chill out unless I play happy birthday. And I always want to be like, girl, it ain't your birthday at all. Bro, she, yeah, you're, you're setting the... It is over a year. Oh, it's over half a year until Maybe your birthday. Maybe you should introduce her to Lil Wayne. Go well, on. I got cake like every day is my birthday. Well, we are keeping Wait, gluten free, so we don't have to worry about cake either I way. I said, dog, I got cake like every day my birthday. You do have cake. Pause. Pause. In no, the, in bad the bitch. <laughs> in the metaverse. <laughs> no, you no, want no, me no. to try to get you booked for the show? No, you're not about to try to hit me. No, they're ever. booking rappers. Like, dead ass. If, oh if I get God. you a bag, will you do it? And I'll promise I'm not going to try to smash okay, it. Okay, as long as we have different rooms in the metaverse. <laughs> you yeah. could just be at your crib, like, as long as you have a green screen. Oh, yeah, I got a green screen. Okay. Let's do it. Give me a bag. Get a chastity belt. Wait, speaking of bags, <laughs> nigga, when are, we, when are we doing this fight? When are we going on a trip? I forgot about the fight. I think it's over with now. We're mm. waiting on legal shit. I wasn't supposed to say that, huh? I'm sorry. No, it's cool. We're just waiting on fucking paperwork. Just wait on it. Is shit Yuri like... still fighting? No. What? I don't think we're uh, working on that at this time. Are you joking? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think he's doing it. I don't think he's in Why? I, I think he was only doing it because we were bullying him anyway. Like, yeah, we should continue to bully him. To he's too popping now. He did a 72-hour oh. stream. You think we can't he's afford He's all disconnected him? now. You that honestly is a good him. point, though, because he made so yeah. much money on that 72-hour stream that it's kind of like That's shit. like more than you guys were going to pay him to fight. Realistically, yeah. <laughs> like, I actually... I mean, it turns out that torturing yourself on camera <laughs> and, and, and putting your racist friends on display for the world oh, is more profitable than getting in the ring against Skinny from the Nine. Did you hear? Did you hear the whole story? Uh, you already know. I watched it. <laughs> you watched watch, it. Go I watched the episode. Bro, would you have hit Chuck? Um, Chuck didn't. Say, you got to remember, Chuck didn't say didn't it in see, front of I us. I didn't see him say it. He didn't say it in front of us. I didn't see Honestly, it. Honestly, it seems. But like, they they DM'd us clips of him saying it. Earlier. Can you believe that they actually are no longer friends over this shit? Yeah. Yeah. Because you know why? Because because the nigga tried to put it on Yuri like Yuri was doing it on some uh, on some clout shit. Like, what, oh, you're you're choosing Yuri your clout. Do? What's Yuri gonna do? It's like you can't defend your friend in that in that instance. Yuri's gonna tell a black guy like, "Oh, you're fucked up for getting mad at my friend for saying the n-word, who's clearly white." Hey, like, not- Yuri, can, what's what's Yuri supposed to do? He should respect the dynamic of the situation. It's awkward as well, fuck that's what for he Yuri. Did. That's what he did. I mean, like, obviously he was a little upset because it was in his crib, but I think like other than that, like Yuri, Yuri has his head on straight, bro. And in the context of it was like people were telling that guy to leave. And he Bro. Was obviously, this he was obviously was fuck. a problem. Wait, we were watching. He was drunk. By the way, you guys go to Harmonious Man on YouTube and mm-hmm. watch the full thirty-minute breakdown of the entire seventy-two-hour stream. Stream oh, highlights. Video? It's like a thirty. It's thirty minutes long. It's a highlight of the stream. Go fucking watch it. I watched it last night. It was funny as Shout fuck. Shout out to fucking Yuri and Riley. Yo, Riley, who the fuck clipped that up? I know Ethan Yuri did. Oh, they got a personal editor. Wow, they'll that look the shop- Kardashians. Bro, think about Maybe that. Maybe we should work for the Harmonious Man. Maybe we should <laughs> tap into the Harmonious hey, World. It was, it was dope seeing like Yuri and Riley get into it the way that they did. Because it's like a fucking Disney movie. It's like. After she assaulted him. She, that was she honestly got, she, got that she will smith them. That was the <laughs> that was the best part of the entire stream was she, that she went full Chief Sosa right you there. You know he was like pissed off, bro. He was pissed. <laughs> off. I would have been mad too, bro. Because imagine how on edge you would be after mm. trying to sleep all night. Seven, 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 the fucking blood vessel. I would want to. I would want to do that Bad. shit, but only if Yuri was there. You think you could do it? You gonna put a mattress on the floor in your room in your little uh, stream yeah. room? Yeah, in your stream room. I like the idea of you like having like a fort for like you know, like a weekend. Like you're just posted up in there like it's the Lost Boys or some. I shit. would like. I would like do some shit like that, Joe. Just because like I thought that was dope that Yuri did that. I like the idea of like punishing yourself and doing one thing for a long time just to like see what you're made of. 
We should, you know, what we should do. We should have a no jumper challenge where we see who can stream continuously the longest. Once we get the new office, we should just do a sleepover stream where everybody who works here comes in with nope. a sleeping bag. I would do that. That's Adam, funny. Adam's gonna be like, "Who gets to poke the podcast?" Oh, there, yeah, all right. He's gonna, gonna, gonna around. go around molesting everybody in their sleep and shit. Yeah, you, he's, he's gonna have, Adam gonna have secret plug talk cameras filming everything. I heard AD and Josh are gonna have the same sleeping bag. Where huh? did you hear this from? In the metaverse. <laughs> no. They got all kinds of theories about you. You give me that bag. <laughs> Whoa. He's, what? Yo. If you give him that bag, what, AD? $75. You give me that bag. Are you going to have a white dick? <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all going to be like that episode of Black Mirror, bro. Stop. Oh, hell no. <laughs> hey, that was the most sickest shit. That was the sussiest shit I ever watched, bro. I was like, I had to what turn the it. fuck? It was so sus. Talk amongst turn. yourselves about Black Mirror while I go urinate. About Black what? Mirror. Uh, uh, I thought he said he got Black urine. He was like... He's, you black people talk amongst yourselves as I exit the room. He about to go in. He about to go in the bathroom here. Fuck, fuck, nigga, ah, nigga, ah, nigga, nigga, ah, fuck, 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 fuck. He's like, I'm holding in my ticks. I gotta get it out. <laughs> all right, okay, all right. I got a question. Mm -hmm. What was the best thing you ate in Italy? Nigga, this fucking pasta at the Gucci restaurant, bro. Mm. It literally looked like Cheerios and milk, bro. What? Yeah. What did it taste like though? Like fucking heaven. Like get like like describe the. Like the favorite flavor palettes. The flavor palette, uh, 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 <laughs> white out mixed with <laughs> white out. The, the the best corn asada, with also the mm. best roast beef sandwich I ever had. <laughs> That's what it tastes like. Six fat midgets named Jeffrey. Oh my god. This sounds like the worst thing to <laughs> eat ever. Okay, wait, wait. Did you have any like traditional? Like, did you have like like pizza? Did you have like the pizza spaghetti? was fucking. <laughs> Next level? Next level. A parmesan, no. You know what the thing is, though? It's like all their fucking food is fresh as hell. Yeah. They not, ain't no fucking MSG. Ain't no GMO. Ain't no HOE. You know what was like the best shit there, though, bro? They're fucking oranges, bro. They got the real oranges? blood oranges, bro. Like mandarins and shit? So, like, if you ask for orange juice, it's like red. That sounds good as fuck, It's the actually. blood oranges, bro. Wait, but, but, like, did they only have blood oranges? Yeah, they only have blood oranges. So, like, so you're telling me all other oranges that we eat are genetically modified oranges? Uh, maybe so. Josh shaking his head no. <laughs> no, nigga. When Josh you got, said <laughs> nigga, when did you got orange juice and it was and was red? Never. Everywhere. That's what I'm saying. They got blood oranges. Look it up. You the you're the official fact checker. Yeah, Mr. No Jumper Fact Checker. You think T Rose pissed off about Yuri fucking that orange? Why would he be mad? Oh, because oh, orange. Ooh. Okay. Bad podcasting, Adam. That was terrible <laughs> podcasting, Adam. I think it's a brilliant thought. I think this is what people are talking about. He about to look it up, too, Josh. What does it say? Were you guys arguing about the price of oranges? No, because I was telling him, like, in Italy, all the oranges... Oh, Italy? In Italy, their blood, or, so their blood oranges, when you get orange juice, it's red. Mm. A whole lot of red. So you couldn't drink it? I drink it all. Mm. <laughs> so you couldn't drink it? Drink What's it that t-shirt? This is a... Oh. That's Jesus. This yeah, is, that's hard. This is my guy, God's kingdom, man. You he found, bought some shit before. You found Jesus out in, uh, out in Italy? I found Jesus as a kid. Mm. Facts. Yeah. Maybe you should find him too. God's Adam. kingdom. And look at, look at the it. back of it, bro. Look. I'm hearing bad things. Um, ooh, that's hard. Ooh, you're bedazzled. Yeah. I'm fucking with it. You know what? I actually wish that the diamonds on the Jesus piece were the bedazzled part. Ooh, he'll do that too for you. I Can I hit you guys with a topic? No. I'm going to hit you with a topic. Band man Kevo, Kevo is going through some drama. Did you see this? Some legal drama? No. So basically, I was a little bit torn. I'm watching this video, and it's his baby mama, and she's like oh. by the pool outside of a fucking hotel with her baby, his kid and shit, and she's venting, talking about OG how... OG suicide in the building. OG suicide in the building. She, uh, she's venting, talking about how he's left her high and dry and isn't giving her any money and he kicked her out impromptu because he just wanted to be fucking with the hoes and all this shit. Wow. She fucking DM'd me the video like saying that she wants to come on here and do an interview exposing him, which I'm obviously not going to do. Uh, but either way, I was kind of feeling like, damn, Kevo, like this shit kind of grimy. Like I'm really actually feeling bad for the girl. But then I watched a whole video of him talking about how he actually has given her hella money and like she just doesn't. She wants she more. She ain't gonna be happy no matter what the fuck he gives her. So I mean, I could totally see that side of Reading shit too. Between the lines is I don't want you to fuck holes no more, so I'm gonna try to ruin you because Damn. of it. She was kind of saying at first though that she like wasn't like necessarily that mad about him having hoes. I feel like when you're Bam and Kevin, you're just making too much money that like you just you're not keeping your dick in your pants. What? See, but like my thing is always like, 
why do as men when we get money we have to like look because wow. like i don't know have you ever seen an animal like <laughs> it's like it's kind of what we're wired to do yeah man. right like <laughs> is it because it becomes more accessible is it because yeah, of course because your whole life you're like you know working to get you're pussy. more you're more desired than ever then all of a yeah. sudden you're bam man kevo out here with a hundred thousand dollars worth and you of are ice. only fans you're not even fucking and everybody <laughs> bam man yeah. kevo we want to give you the slurp and of course he's gonna have a hard time turning down but i don't know like he he was just also saying like she was up in my shit too much so like he was just saying like you looking for I, shit you I shouldn't be looking for i can't be with you because you're too annoying you're too all up in my shit which is like I yeah, respect that. Okay, I mean that's some real shit. We if all been keep, there before. If you keep it real with it with them like that, and they they don't want to accept it, then no. it just sucks because the kid is caught up in the middle uh, of it, and yeah. she she's showing the kid they're by the pool. It's the middle of the winter. It's like why are you by the pool in the fucking you know outside the, the hotel or whatever? It's like it's probably you, hot wherever they're kind of feeling bad. Yeah, it's Miami, but it's still uh-huh. like shit. Why you, you don't even got a room or something? Like I don't know. Like that 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 shit's just kind of like. It's, it's, it's like as soon as the kid gets wrapped up in it, you yeah. all of a sudden kind of like have to feel for the girl because the kid is wrapped up in it. But that's but that's exactly what she's trying to do. Like you just said, like uh, get the sympathy side for her. Yeah, but to be honest, I don't really respect it. As soon as she starts DMing me, it's like what the fuck. You that's doing? that's the crazy part. Like, you know you, I fuck with them, so you think you're gonna do an interview? Man, with me? do an interview with a fucking T channel. Cloud is a yeah. hell of a drug. I man. got a dog in Bro, this fight. Yeah. I fuck with Kevo, you know? Baby mama starts DMing Adam to get an interview. I'm not surprised. You ain't ever worried about any of your baby mamas having a YouTube career based on you? Milk card. They'll have a lot to work on. <laughs> Milk card, you get on missing? <laughs> They're going to have a lot to deal with. Look at how toxic he is. <laughs> Any girl that dates you got a whole book. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. No, they don't. Yeah? That nigga AD said, you be J- putting them through it. Put a J Stash my dude. How? That's my, just my, my assumption. Hey, this is fun fact. Both my baby fun mamas. Fact, yo, I love that you. That's fact. a t- a t- a twick a, a tick that I never noticed until mm. the meme pages pointed it out. What? F- no, that, be, it was in you'd the... be dropping a lot of fun facts, and a lot of times they're not really facts. They are facts <laughs> that I'm telling about myself, dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? Yeah, <laughs> they don't always end up being facts. Listen, fun fact about myself: both my baby mothers left me. Mm, allegedly. I didn't leave them high and dry. That's not how I remember it. This, Unless it, there was something else going on that you weren't telling us. They both left me. This is a fun fact. So, <laughs> did you what do I anything? Did, what I did afterwards <laughs> is not my fault. Oh. Uh, it's not my job. This is, But this is his playbook. You, you act up, you piss them off, mm. they break up with you, you go crazy, they try to get you back, you're like, bitch, we broke up. You can't be mad at me. I'm free. I didn't break up with you. Basically, you broke up with me. Basically. I ain't coming back. Yeah. Fuck you, bitch. Yeah. Whoa. That's a pretty good playbook. I'm not going to lie. But, I mean, not the way you said it, but, you know. <laughs> but it's not no playbook. They just left me. It they just kind of happened like that. They left, they left me. Mr. And Lonely. And I just found something else. Do you feel like Mr. Lonely? Yeah, you, you play that song, you get in your feels. I did. Before. Is that song like? Can you get in your feels to that song, or is that song the too Acon, goofy? Mr. I yeah. have nobody. Come on, man, that's a classic. To call my locked own. up. <laughs> my girl won't let me. <laughs> my girl won't let me out. I'm fucking. My favorite one. These streets remind me of quicksand. Can we get quiet on the when set? When you're on it. Everybody, shh. Um, wait, what? The streets remind you of quicksand? You ain't you ain't you ain't Akon fan? Not like that. Living in the ghetto. Yeah. Oh, that was a good one. I did meet him. Did you? One of the greatest days of my life. What didn't he say like something super majestic to you or something? He had like all white on. He was and talking he about floated away. He didn't have all <laughs> white on. He was dressed normal as fuck. <laughs> he like floated away into the distance. <laughs> Bro, that nigga brought the internet to parts of Africa that doesn't even have clean water. He bought solar. He, he bought lights. He bought everything. Stop playing with that. He's nigga, making bro. his own Wakanda. Did you see on Netflix that there is a re- there's a reality show <laughs> that is like the rich and famous of Africa? Oh, wow. I did see that. I, I watched watch one it, episode of it. Of course you did. I seen Crazy Rich Asians. And Shit that is crazy. Good. No, that's, that's a totally different race and format. What it are you doing? Mine. It ain't mine. Oh, I'm fucking, I'm about to say, I got the ring app. You. you got his you cameo. Got a ring app? No. He got his cameo <laughs> notifications. I didn't know on. what the fuck it was. That's the ring app. <laughs> Bro, this show, you, you should check it out. It's some fucking wild shit. They're like the richest motherfuckers ever. Like, I don't understand how they have so much fucking money. Uh, here we go but again. But they're balling. Like, this is the know. second time you like can't believe no, that but people it's in like, Africa it's like, have money. It's like a fucking crazy area of Africa that's super rich, and then like the rest yeah. of the fucking city or whatever is all. No, yeah, there's yeah. a lot of rich areas of Africa. 
Well, I don't know. These, they, they're making it seem like this is the richest one. No, I mean, we I, have like I don't all know if the I'm best ever world's watch it again, resources to be in Africa. Yeah. It makes sense. And people would be taking that. They did. Your I people. Assume. Well, not me so much. I'm, I'm much younger than that. <laughs> Are you? I went there and I didn't take anything. Did you go there? Yeah. You went to where? Your like, ancestors stole us and brought us here. Now we got to listen to you and do bad podcasts. Do, <laughs> I would question if my could have ancestors rich. did, but some white ancestors, some the, people, the some white people's ancestors. Um, I heard you say your name, your last name in the uh, in the Hash Brown Town tour, and it didn't sound like how you normally. Grand Mason. Grand Amazon. Yeah, you was like Grand like, Massage. I'm at, I'm at him, Grand Massage. Grandmazon like, or Grand Mesa. I'm like one of the only people you know that got two pronunciations. Yeah, I'm like, name. what? Ooh, like, that's a, a hard, like, spin off for you, Grandmazon. Like, Amazon. That's what I'm saying. But you Nobody sell, believes in me. But you sell porn. No. Yeah. Like, Amazon. No, Glamazon <laughs> is what they call a girl who's, like, hella tall and she's glamorous. Uh, like, Amazon plus glam equals Glamazon. I would fuck with Oh, that. Grandmazon. You Grandmazon. sell weed. That's a big chief right there. Mm, Grandmazon. That's my strain. That could Ooh, be your strain. Oh, that's the and then the pack, on. And then like. The Grams is on. The packaging oh. looks like an Amazon box. And then you I got, got a tampon <laughs> on. Hey, and then you got like, your bag is just Jeff, like a Jeff Bezos head. No, the bag got to be a fucking. Just my head? Amazon. Should I go bald again to promote no, the weed? Jeff Be- oh, you bald like Jeff Bezos. <laughs> with a suit on. And you on steroids this, like him? This is going to take you to space. Mm. Mm-hmm. Now, honestly, you ain't pushing Uzumaki anymore. Uzumaki is dropping 420, and we actually yes. have. While you're speaking on it, the cartridges are dropping next week. We're having a big 420 party at Dragonfly. So if you're in LA, what's Dragonfly? The motherfucking club. We doing this shit big. I, I'm going Uzumaki this Uzumaki dropping 420, big chief. Fuck the grandma's eye, nigga. We out here. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> is Dragonfly wheelchair accessible? We are gonna pick you up. <laughs> <laughs> he needs his own section so he can lay yeah, down. Yeah, <laughs> I need my own section. No, but if I was a rapper, I would say some shit like, it's grandma's on. She just took a Zan. Fuck, what's your grandma on? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Something like grandma on. <laughs> no, I took off my shirt and turned your grandma on. He was filming Plug Talk. She ain't had no panties on. Mm, I feel like Trev because my camera's strong. Adam had a knife. Now his auntie's gone. <laughs> you like that one? <laughs> Pull up in Hash Brown Town with a golden thong. Oh. Got my hand in my pocket playing ping pong <laughs> with my ding dong. I want to live long. Hash Brown I got a yellow bracelet, but I ain't live strong. What? Hash Brown Town, that's your theme song. That was hard. Adam's going crazy. You're going to have to put me in a cage like King Kong. <laughs> Hey, wait a minute. You tread you tread the line now. <laughs> you always, Yo, he's <laughs> always trying to say that anytime you mention like a monkey or a gorilla or whatever, that it's like racist. Well you put you said people in the cage. King Kong yeah. went in the cage. You ain't Cuban dog. You better chill out. What oh. <laughs> she could say that. Fuck. I put a bitch in a cage like King Kong. Bro. <laughs> she could that say was that. one of the craziest stories. Yo, why why pun coast on that? Did that actually he was, happen? <laughs> he was man. He was managing her at the time. Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. He fucking probably came up with that idea. <laughs> <laughs> but then he was out. He's Mr. Street dude or whatever, and he fucking he couldn't handle gotta, the fire right you, there. You gotta understand that Pun is one of the people. Like, if it's time to go, it's, it's time, time to, to go. go. He don't care because Pun, I assume, been in the streets for a percentage of his life, but he probably don't necessarily want that from his female artists. Mm. He came too far to all of a sudden be trying to bail some girl out for locking a bitch in a cage and stabbing her or whatever the fuck happened. Like if House did that, you bailing him out? If he locked a girl in a cage and stabbed <laughs> well, her? Not a, not a girl. <laughs> what the if fuck? He, my, if he locked little Tracy in a cage and why stabbed her? Like, I'm just trying to think of like somebody that you would be kicking it with. Like, Okay, okay. <laughs> Keep ahead. going. Say no, it, I don't say even. It, say it, say it. Who was I just talking about on the podcast about House Phone? Oh, oh, Jeezy. Oh, yeah. You like that? That was kind of funny. He talking about serving lie. you back in the day? No, you asked him. And he admitted it. He's like, for sure. That's, That's my hard. nigga. hard. <laughs> Why you is that hard? Jeezy's junkie. <laughs> <laughs> you was keeping him in business. <laughs> he was drinking hella egg pints <laughs> off of your bread. <laughs> he was Listen. taking your Pacific Sunwear checks from you. <laughs> That's fucked up. Like, like, Jeezy, I need it, man. Jeezy. Yo, yo, yo. 
I need it. Musty. Jeezy. Musty. Musty. I'm musty. Musty. <laughs> Pull me up another line, Jeezy. <laughs> All right. I suck your dick, Jeezy, okay. man. Okay. Now, now y'all got to be fucking... <laughs> <laughs> I sucked your dick for a gram. <laughs> for a gram. For a gram. For a gram. Mason. For a gram. For a gram. You ever suck dick for coke? <laughs> In the metaverse. You ever suck dick for lot, lean? I had a lot of bitches sucking dick for coke. Oh, you okay. did? Sure. I want to know like which times in our in my life I was doing coke with you that we were doing oh Jesus coke. I mean, listen, bro. I'm so glad that he's coming to fruition so he could talk about his, his days serving junkies. Like, how's fun? Bro, you was also a junkie right next to me, so shut the fuck you, up. You, you, nah, Chuck, you gonna call another nigga he was junkie. going a little harder than me, I'm going to be honest with you. Okay. You had junkie. You were a junkie who had junkies. That's kind of hard. How, exactly. How was, I did have junkies. How was Adam, oh, God. How was Adam as a junkie? First of all, bro, was Adam... Was more fun? Adam... Uh, I think yeah, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, told me, you don't yeah. drink no more. You were better when you were drunk. <laughs> don't don't catch me on the next day after the lean though. Oh man. The next day, oh, you don't want to be around me. Yeah, but, that's when you left your fucking birthday. We supposed to go to strip yeah, club. Yeah, you fucking yeah, you fucking old. That was a bad idea. Bitch. I don't know what made me think that. Oh, we're gonna go out late tonight, so I should drink a drug that makes you more tired, tired and makes you want to pass out. Why did I think that was a good idea? And Lena literally had five thousand ones. I know. We probably would have found some talent there. You, literally, you could have saved him from the club and took him to plug the talk. club. We got to redo it. We just got booked and you didn't want to go. You want to go at two in the morning? That's just yeah, that's yeah. when it's cracking. No, let's go at like fucking midnight. Yeah, dude. Nobody's in there at midnight. Why not? Every, that's cap. what are you talking about? It's people cap. in cheetahs at midnight. Yeah. Nobody is in there. Suicide saying they are. No. Ah, I said no. Fuck. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't want to be around no bitches who are up that late working. <laughs> I want to go to strip club at 7 p.m. The bitches don't get off work until like 5 a.m. If a bitch dancing at 7 p.m., she needs to do something else. I, no, that just shows. I know a bitch that dances at 3 p.m. She probably has a lucrative career do? afterwards. She be at Sam's at 3 p.m. Well, that's Sam's. You got the, <laughs> the day shift is lit there? Allegedly. I heard the food was good. Really? If a strip club is going to be lit midday, they need food because people don't really want to get fucking drunk as much as Damn, they do think at about night. That, think about that, yeah. though. You're, you're on your fucking hour lunch break at work and you dry, you decide to go get a lap dance and eat some fucking get chicken wings. Get a job and back, turn the camera off. Dedication. Dedication, nigga. But yes, Adam was way funner when he was lit. I um, See, he tried to divert the That's not combo. true. I was a fucking piece of shit. I was fucking having I a hard see, time, bro. Yeah. It was yeah. not fun. No, you were fun to me because you were funny to laugh I think at. you're more fun sober. Yeah, honestly, I think so sober-ish, too. Sober-ish, whatever, whatever you're sober on now. No, 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 it's called LA sober. That's what you, like whenever you're not oh, doing. Oh no, I gotta watch you now. What you LA oh, sober is just you. not doing about coke. The loud shit. Look, look, LA sober is not doing coke and not doing like Molly and shit like that. Respect. That's what LA sober is. So, so you can still drink. I mean, I don't smoke weed, but I, you know, I drink a little wine. Mm. I don't drink like I'm not taking tequila shots. The house on energy is just much, much more consistent, which is like a weird thing because I want to applaud you for that because you've been so much more consistent and better on camera i think but then at the same time you're in a wheelchair so that's kind of awkward like, that's the nicest thing i ever heard him say about the, thank you my boy like, it's like the physical signs are pointing towards him not doing so good but then podcast wise he's been doing great i think ever, and the disconnected ever shit, since he met og that. suicide his life has changed because mm. you OG weren't suicide. a good influence for him. He's going, I'm a fucking junkie, you piece of shit. <laughs> well, I, I, I no, at least he balanced it out. At least, at least he called me a junkie and then said that I'm doing it. No, suicide good. looks you in your eyes and give you that stare, bro. Yeah. Like he's been into the war, you feel me? <laughs> hey, he's no, like, no, you no. You don't want to be like me. Shout out to OG Suicide and shout out to uh, the meme pages that post uh, his Monday motivations. Right. Shout out, man. Shout out to the fucking meme pages, man. I love when I see the meme pages embracing someone like Suicide or Crip Mac, who's in the extended No Jumper universe, you know, like they're fucking really tapping in. They're posting all these clips from Tent Talks. It's like, oh, oh my God. There was, they ain't there was no a Trev post. Where's wow, the BBC clips? No, no BBC yes, I, yes, I clips. Have. Oh, okay. They called him angry. Yeah. That's <laughs> no, the, no, no, but. That's <laughs> the new meme is that Trev is like disgruntled. <laughs> No, he meant like actual clips from the VBC on the meme page. Oh, I haven't really seen that yet. But that come on, man, we need we got to show my boy Trev some love. I'm slacking on watching the Phil interview, bro. Phil got an interview. With we Trev, need to yeah. watch it all together. I want to watch that. I've been working with Trev for all these years, or for, with Phil for all these years. I don't know anything about him. <laughs> Do you know like you really don't know the basics about Phil? Uh, I know a decent amount Where's about he him, from? but I could definitely yeah, well, know more. I feel like I don't I know. know he like socks somebody out the store. I seen yep. it. Yep. 
That just that's that was just the he's, he's like a car man. He's nice as fuck on the BMX. He didn't know it, but he was very influenced by Will Smith when he did that. Wow. <laughs> he went back in time and like beat somebody up. Phil is always looking for a reason to smack the shit out of somebody. To be honest with you, that's why I fuck with Phil, man. Because he's a he hardcore has, kid. He just moshes on people. He has like calm energy, but he will fuck you up for sure. And he has Crip Mac as his horn. That's true. When you honk his horn, I fuck your wife, Custer. Him and Crip Mac kick it too. Do they really? Yeah, he pulled up to Fifty Fifth Street Alley. Wow. <laughs> He got DP to get to get Phil put on DP. <laughs> to get put on. I feel like Phil could could take five niggas for sure, like in a fade. Pause, but um, yo, pause. I was gonna say that too. Pause. Y'all niggas, man. Don't gangbang uh, Phil. No, I mean like he could get he could. Get I put have on. a topic. Hmm. My topic I would like to talk about. Kid Trunks has revealed via an Instagram live that he was not shot and he does not have Why cancer. Why would you play and say you got lung cancer? He admitted that he said that shit was yeah. corny. But he said, I got brain aneurysm or said something. I don't know why he would do that. And he said and that, that was he was so tripping. And he he thought it would be good for his career to say he got shot when in reality he passed out in the hospital and split his chin open. Yeah, in the airport. I already kind of, yeah, I already kind of like assumed that when he said yeah. he got shot. I was looking at it, I'm like, that looks like you fell and hit your fucking chin on the ground because the bullet... Going this accurately yeah. along your chin just doesn't really seem that likely. I mean, shout out to shout out to DJ Dabs. He kind of was the one that like uh, was really speaking up on it at first. About Bro, Kid Trunks is like everybody's new person to make a video about. If you're, I've seen if, so many. If you're a Baba Lamb, if you're a fucking whoever, fucking hello, you seen? They all are just shitting on Kid Trunks. He's like the enemy of members only to the YouTubers now. I gotta see the little lamb one. Oh, the, the, vi the video that Sonny made about Lil Xan. That was so good. It's I'm like 100% no jumper clips. From from beginning to end. I'm not a buster, so I'm not going to claim it. But I was a little bit like, wow, what? my life's work. Here you would is. do that? No. I was about to say, It's still on. fair use, even if it's like yeah. a little excessive. I think it was, it was like, honestly, a really good depiction of just his How fall from grace. Yeah, is. like his fall from grace, bro. <laughs> but now he's, he was saying he was clean, and now he's saying he's like fucked up in the hospital. No, nah, but that kid trunk shit is just like, I don't know, man. Like it's it, sad. It's kind of kinda, yeah. It's kind of just like people c falling from w where they were at, I guess, and just don't know how to handle it. Yeah, because I mean, you know, he probably thought like his whole life was like set out for him with yeah. the fucking ex situation, and then all of a sudden yeah. it's like tough to get people to pay attention to you. What are you gonna do? I would hope that you would still have enough integrity to not be like, oh, I'm gonna fake getting shot. Yeah. I no, mean, like, say that you have lung cancer. But look, joke look with that shit? If, if we really want to think about it, you got to start back to even when he was like first rapping is like he was really banging. Like, I'm the hardest Asian rapper ever. Like basically trying to get other Asian rappers to engage and be like, mm. oh, what the fuck? I'm the heart. Like, you know, but these days, if you want to be a rapper, like that's kind of like part of it is you have to stay in the fucking headlines somehow from whatever not kind that. of controversy or drama you can cook up. But you can't look like a total goofy yeah. in the meantime with Kid Trunks, I would say no offense yeah. to but pretty clearly that ship has sailed that this shit looks goofy as fuck yeah i mean and like i wonder what percentage of people that were around him actually was like damn like, i wonder if he really has cancer at first and like That's fucked up. the cancer thing was kind of like oh well he said it was some type of rare like pneumonia cancer even when it got posted on the no jumper page i, I mean, kind of felt like hitting the team up and being like Y'all seriously believe this? Yeah, right. <laughs> like, and then I, I just kind of like yeah, on the cancer thing and the shooting thing. It it did not pass the sniff test for I me think, at least. I think the the cancer thing was like before, obviously the shooting. So like it wasn't as apparent that he would just be like making that up. But then just the facts and shit didn't line up, and he was acting like he was better and fine like a week later. Right. And it was like, oh, so you you just beat this like terminal like pneumonia lung cancer <laughs> chest cancer right and uh yeah it was definitely a lot of people that were feeling the same way like just call blowing the whistle on it like nah this is it's like a master class on what not to do as a rapper because the whole thing about being a rapper <laughs> is that you have to be able to get people to take you serious and to you know? like you kind of to like you and as soon as you do some shit like that it's like wow you got your work cut out for you to make people fuck with you again after that dude do you think him coming out and apologizing kind of did some damage control of at least letting people see like him being like, oh. at, at least admitting that you did something wrong is better than like just having to spend the rest of your career acting like these things happened that didn't happen. You know, I wonder how long he would have, uh, how long he would have kept that going. He took it to the grave. You think he so? Should, he should have been great. No, I was I'm good. I'm good. My, my boring friends. <laughs> no, nah, but um, <laughs> it just sucks because like. I feel like they were all in a certain position, you know, when X was around. And then they just are 
trying to figure it out. Yeah, but it's always tough like that. I don't, like, I don't know the, the, all of their situations, but you know. Nah, but I mean, it's like you, you want that energy from that artist to get passed down to the other people in the crew. Like mm-hmm. you would like to think that the people are gonna want to hear from all of your homies once yeah. one, or the, all of the artist homies once they pass. Very rarely does it work out like that. Although to be honest, like you know, with Ralphie, it felt like he kind of like. I took, was just about he, to say he, that he picked up the torch right he after the Draco thing. But also, it's like it was kind of hard for Drake for Ralphie to get to noticed as much that. when Draco was out. So it kind of opened the door for him to start going crazy. But I will say the thing about Ralphie though is the fact that Ralphie's mu- Okay, like whenever I show somebody's Ralphie's music, they'll be like, "Oh, this sounds like Draco or like whatever," and I'm like, "I don't think they sound like." At all musically, Me at all. I think Me maybe flow wise, a little bit. The delivery is like, very different, but the delivery, the context. But people think West Coast music sounds yeah, the same yeah. as a whole. So, but like that's when you really notice that like people don't really pay attention to music. Like they try to act like they I do. Mean, but we 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 say the same thing about Brooklyn drill rap. We were like, man, it should sound the same. But to them, it's like. Nah, this is no, but I could, do all sound the same. <laughs> I mean, the the majority of it. Let's yeah. be real. They rap on the same exact kind of beats. They all got the same exact flow. Every once in a while, an artist comes out yeah. like Pop Smoke, who is clearly or just like, doing something with a different wave. K Flock comes out. K-Flock. It sounds way more intense than the average dude. Because yeah. there's a lot of artists who realistically are fucking mid as fuck. Mm-hmm. But every other bar in the song is talking about we smoking on Lil Denny, we smoking on Kyle, we smoking on everybody, <laughs> we smoking and on Chad. People just can't fucking help but look away <laughs> because they're watching. <laughs> this shit play out bro i was listening to like uh one of the like d thing songs or something and literally every bar is like blah blah blah, got shot he's still in recovery and i'm just like damn like or it's always like he got shot in the party and he did the harlem shake girl it's like (laughs) he got shot in the party and then something happened like what he what happened after he got shot was like this other thing Mm. nigga got hit he did a backflip presser said he got hit up in the party did a dance Shout out to Presser, man. Pe- What's going on him? Huh? What's going on with Presser? I heard from him since he- that Kodak situation that his name was put in. I don't know. I don't know if like that fucking theory ever came to fruition or anything. I think he just, you know, he's riding the uh, the Coil Array. Nah, they broke up. I think. <laughs> oh, I thought he was riding the Coil Array wave. Still, you cop the Desto Dub collab. What? Which one? Coil Array. They they did a collab. It's an awful lot of trending. Mm. She's not really trending no more though. Whoa. Sorry, I didn't mean it like that. I meant like if she dropped that when like, she was <laughs> Benzino, like, we got an op here. No, I didn't meant her, like didn't her shit do good with Nicki Minaj? I think that is like okay. the biggest song so far. I might yeah. be really I haven't heard it yet, but uh I meant like there Nikki was like was stupid on really? there yeah. was a couple of weeks where people were talking about Coil Ray <laughs> and this her uh trials and tribulations as a female rapper for a long time. Mm. So I'm, I feel like that would have made a a little more since then, but shout out to Desto Dub and shout out to Coil Ray. I, I hope, just, hope she I, ran I think it that's up. the name of her album or some shit, okay. like Trendsetters or some shit. Okay. Something with trending in it. Go best friend. Can I just acknowledge <laughs> that we had Ti here last week? That was pretty crazy. I know. Legendary. T. Row was geeked. I know. I want to ask. He was like, yeah. Oh, was, when we got up, when, we, when they left, T. Row was just like, I'm gonna admit it now, man. I'm happy as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I always miss like the good guests. Is that weird? You always miss the guests. Yeah. Mm. It's like he's avoiding them. Mm. <laughs> Maybe I am. Do you got some I smoke mean. with Grand Hustle? No. Nah. That's what we call on T-Roll now, Lil' Grand Hustle. Why? <laughs> Lil' Grand? Lil' blah da da that's a, that's a blood thing. No, but remember like the joke is always that he's like going to sign to one of these rappers and he's going to be like <laughs> Lil' whatever? It would be funny if you just laughed and I didn't yeah, have to explain should've. it. But <laughs> you know you should have asked him like, about? You should have asked him about like signing Travis Scott early on. Like, bro, think about think about where That's Travis Scott one. ended up being in his career. Like, and Iggy. Oh wow, forgot about that. And Young Dro. Dro. Young Dro. I'm clean. Wait, 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 wait. Dro I just no jumper. Hold he on. Come in here. Hold on. High five. High five. Wait, high wait. Five. I got it. I got it. Out of space ball and put you up on astronomy mathematically. I'm. Wait, what did that nigga Were say? Were you influenced by Black Boy and White Boy Swag? Bro, what? Young LA? Come Black on. Boy, boy, swag. That shit was hard. That shit was hard. But who started? I remember being like, what the fuck are who they talking star- about? Who started Travis the Porter. Black Boy, White Boy swag? Travis, Travis Porter, Porter or Young LA? Not Young LA. Young, Black boy, yeah. white boy, young LA, yeah. Yeah, that was I can't name, remember right? exactly what the who dropped sequence was. The, who dropped the Black Boy, White Boy swag? I, but first. I think, that was I think a Travis beef. Porter did it with the Urkel I shit. think Travis Porter were beefing with them over That's that. That's what I'm saying. I went from Steve to Stefan. <laughs> I interviewed everybody involved in this. Young Dro, Young LA, and Travis Porter. 
Bro, mm. that was an era of music. Like that was like that was like them ushering in like the the Kanye pink polo era to like southern. This morning, Parker was banging on a drum. I said, "Oh, new nickname, Travis Parker." Because <sighs> of the drum, that was good. Pretty good, right? That was a pretty good one. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna push the drum thing so I can keep making that joke. By the way, we're weird for talking about his daughter. His daughter is not 18. I know. <laughs> I didn't say anything weird, but you were like, she should be on Plug Talk. No, no, I said, <laughs> don't. No, fuck you. I said, do not put her on okay, Plug Talk. That's much better. Yeah, and I've right. never even seen her before, so <laughs> fuck yeah. you. And the article don't try to put that on no, The these. article yes. that I was talking about was not about her dating life either. It was just okay. like her and her friend hanging out. So I felt kind of bad that I like misinterpreted it as like a dating story. <laughs> so how old is his daughter? 16. Shouldn't be. We shall never speak of her again. We shall never. <laughs> no, literally, we should. We shall. I had never seen her or knew nothing about her, so I didn't know. <laughs> Stricken from the record. Why are we redacted? Lying? Redacted. redacted. <laughs> For sure. You listen to MGK album? What? No. Who? Who are you looking at? I'm looking right at you, Custer. <laughs> You're not I'm like, who out? are you looking at? There might be some jams on there, bro. Fuck no. Did you I, see? I want to hear the song. He got Lil Wayne. Ooh. Ooh. I love the fancy underwear. Can we talk about That's the fact? I Bro. sat behind her Bro. every year. <laughs> Chief Keith. Waiting for the chance to get. Stop. Chief Keith. <laughs> Chief the Keith. She should Stop. Be <laughs> yeah. Chief Keith did a song with Young Boy. <laughs> really? <laughs> An O Block Divided cannot stand. What? What's going to happen? That's what, like. You know you've been seeing those YouTube videos exposing the old block Chief Keef beef. Okay. And so when I was just interviewing PG, PGF Nuck, mm. I said to them, I said, Is any you know, real? we're talking about Chief Keef, and then we're talking about them kicking it with OTF and being around Dirk and stuff. And I said, I'm like, do you feel like you have to choose one because they supposedly have this rift? And yeah. they basically said, like, yeah, it's kind of like a weird thing where we feel like if we fuck with... Keith, then Dirk might feel away, or if we fuck with Dirk, Sosa might feel away, or whatever. I can't believe it's that deep. I, I don't know that it is, and it didn't sound like they necessarily knew that it was. They just seen the same videos that we seen. Really? But now my thing is like, okay, you saw the reaction that the baby got when mm. the baby put out a tape with Young Boy. Now the baby is not from Chicago. Yeah. He's from a totally fucking different place. And yeah. realistically, I think a lot of people expected nobody to give a shit about the baby doing a tape with Young Boy because that's not his fucking beef. Yeah. Now. Chief Keith doing That's a fucking tape different. with or a song with Young Boy right now kind of looks crazy because it's like why are you Do he's know? like blatantly disrespecting King Vaughn and shit. I mean they definitely I don't want to go into detective phone mode. Dun, dun. Sosa though Sosa is the number one person on earth that does not give a fuck what anybody, anybody else think. is doing what anybody else is thinking. But also it, NBA Young Boy is like that too. I doubt. My, I, I think that, yeah, exactly, I agree. But I, And the baby, honestly, is yeah, like that, yeah. too, where the baby seems like he's marching to the beat of his own drum, and then he ends up getting canceled, he ends up getting in trouble, he ends up having shooters from Chicago mad at him, and he's just like, he, he, it's like he's not really thinking things through like that. But I don't think, I think it's more likely that Sosa just fucks with Youngboy and was yeah. just down to do a song with him. But That's what I think so, too. What if Youngboy reached out to Sosa because he's trying to sow some division by being like, oh, look, like I'm going to fucking do, do this because I know it's going to create controversy in Chicago. Although I haven't seen that pop off yet, although I'm assuming it's going to be happening on social media. I mean, just the fact of like the inner workings of this like problem that they have just being let out so much recently, it, it's crazy because a lot of stuff was just rumors until you get like certain people who are actually involved and actually there kind of confirming some of the stories. Well, we know we ain't going to hear shit from Dirk, so we're yeah. going to have to keep an eye on the fucking Instagram stories of every single dude in OTF because that's mm -hmm. where we're going to figure out one of them is going to drink a little too much lean and just hop on their story and be like, fuck, hey, fuck Sosa or whatever. And then we're going to fucking figure out how they feel. I mean, like... I thought at one point people were saying they were cousins too. So like, I before too. right? Like I remember yeah. back in the day, like K Flock rapping about or no, his cousin. It's gonna be it's gonna, it's gonna be an awkward family reunion or some shit like that. No, know. but um, an O Block divided cannot stand. Yeah, but it's That's not my like motto this year. <laughs> but it's not like month. NBA Young Boy. Uh, like bro, they were already divided. Like in that in that in this specific instance, they were already divided. But way by before. choosing a fuck with Young Boy, that might it also that could might be formally set the shit in stone. This could be an old song though too. We don't know. That is possible, and it coming out right now would be fucking convenient mm. for sure. Mm. You know what? I just want to touch back on real quick because I don't really listen to like you know the the 
the mainstream hits of the week or whatever, yeah. my nigga, <laughs> that the <da> baby <laughs> NBA Young Boy album is actually fire. Really? They have this song called Hit. Oh, it's so good. I only listened to the first couple songs and I heard Young Boy doing some Cardi shit. And yes, like, that's the song on? I'm talking about. Oh, you have to that's the like? song I'm talking about. <laughs> Nigga, that's why you like it. I was in the whip doing like 120 in the dash, like this shit go crazy. And wow. then you hit a mailman. <laughs> then Bro. I hit a dog and named him Bagel. In PZ's interview, at least three cars get destroyed. What do you mean? I'm like talking, Outside? I'm talking to him about the period of his life where oh. he was doing too much Zans and mm. shit. And it's like, bro, the <laughs> cars are getting, it sounds like he was living GTA. <laughs> like he's like, I'll, I'll get back from the airport. I'll hop in this one car. I'm off a couple of Zans. Fucking crash that shit. Grab an Uber to the homie's house. Grab another car. Boom. Crash that shit. I'm like, what? What the fuck are you talking about? And then he said he stopped doing, he don't even drink lean anymore. That's fire. Yeah. I'm proud of him. I mean, it's shit. To uh. be fair, I almost didn't even realize it was him at first when he walked in because he, he looks way smaller. That's good though. He was fat as fuck at one point, bro. That shit would fuck you, bro. <laughs> I'd be like watching random shit on YouTube, and it'll be like fucking a, a old picture of a little guy, and like a picture of him from like yesterday. Yo. And I'm like, little guy got pissed because the No Jumper social media account posted that. Really? The side by side of him before and oh, after. I guess but that then was I you. Seen that him in some other videos and shit, and he didn't look that, that fat. That was fucked but up. But that, that was I mean, kind. You, what you can't point it out when somebody gains 100 pounds. You think he was 100, bro? No, no. In that picture, it looked like 100. Wow, I don't know. I fuck with God. I just I, shout I, out to little guy. I think man. he posted something about like fucking calling out no jumper or whatever. Really? I don't know. I mean, shit. If y'all niggas is posting me like that, I'd be feeling some type of way <laughs> we too. Yeah, that's like fat. I'm trying shaming. to do a no jumper boot camp to get everybody get a bunch healthy. of fat rappers and put them on fucking do some biggest loser shit. The biggest loser. That was a, that was the show. I remember that show. It's not the worst idea. I used to watch that show so much. Did you really? I, me too. I thought it was great. Me too. I don't know why. It's just, they lose <laughs> they lose weight in like a super unhealthy way, like way too fast. Oh, they're like starving the fuck out of themselves. Yeah, and they they're all, trying to win the show. They yeah. all gain it back. You yeah, afterwards, huh? Because because they didn't like practice any healthy habits of losing weight. They just fucking or trying. Was it money at the end of the show? Yeah, and they're doing like eight hours of cardio a day and shit. Oh, so think about that though. It's like you you, you are like pushing yourself to those limits because you got money and you get to lose a bunch of weight mm. and you get to be famous by being on TV. It's kind of like the concoction of toxicity. Speaking of cocks, whip it out. Um, what else should we talk about? Anything else we need to cover? I feel like we need to uh, we need to go on like do something else again. Like like take um, a journey. Yeah. Well, we're about to do the live show soon. What if we went into nature for like I don't, I don't three know. or four? Well, like you can't walk, yeah. But <laughs> no, I was not even say that. we could like do a bunch of hikes <laughs> and shit like that. What if we went to like the beach? What if we had a house like all the hoes now, just chilling on the beach? All the hoes, three, we get four to, days. We get no, no hoes. We're all in relationships. <sighs> and you talking about all in one house? Not all. What if just the hoes? Is this in the metaverse? No. Oh, so Adam about to go to town. If we're yeah, gonna go means- on vacation together, we have to do a solemn oath to not fuck each other. But that means that Yuri is now invited because he's technically a host on He is. We all know he ain't allowed to leave the house. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at least he got added to the group chat. Yeah, he's, he doesn't write nothing bro, in there. Blasi him. did that. Blasi went rogue. Yeah, that Yuri was kind of crazy. Nothing in there. That was crazy because Blasi just like. He's just writing shit down. He's a spy. Blasi jumped out the window with that one. I was like, bro. I had been whoa. thinking about it because it's like, he's a, a host. Real nigga, man. Oh, that's my nigga. That's my guy, man. I'm saying like that. Shout was, out to Hesh, too, man. Shout out to Hesh, man. Fucking hilarious. Bro. He's the shit out of people. <laughs> You've been doing that, though. Shout um, out to Big Ski. Big Ski put up, uh, right, like, Big Ski and Vail put up looking for the fade right after. To which, fight what, Chuck? Chuck? <laughs> <laughs> they was trying to pack Chuck out all and together. he was already gone? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I, don't, I didn't get the vibe that Hesh needed any help. <laughs> no, I know. It's just funny to say. They're like, man. Vail's a homeless man at Yuri's house. But say no more. Yuri's lucky that that wasn't really caught on camera, right? Because when he got caught... Kicked off Twitch if you saw somebody get punched. You would have been so well, happy. Look, it was you right. would have gave him. You no. would have gave him a no jumper contract. I was the one who turned the fucking ca- the camera so that it would film. The he would have gave him a no jumper contract and ten talks his mind. I was just trying to film the aftermath because it was so crazy. I was like, oh shit. Mm. Honestly, I learned that from you. Good podcasting. We don't even have to turn the camera. We got three of them. Exactly, exactly. I had to like waddle over there and I grabbed it. Last, it was literally as soon as the last punch was thrown, I just flipped the camera. Val and AD fighting has a million views on some random guy's YouTube channel. That is crazy. That's, That's so nuts. fake. The thumbnail's so good though. You see T Rail just stretched out on the shit, like <laughs> trying to break break it up, and then you see Duno like just barely like waddling into the frame, like he's hella far away. <laughs> well, I mean, in, in Duno's defense, he didn't know that we was doing that shit. Really? He's nah. the only one I didn't know. Didn't know? 
I T Rail T Rail no. Oh, okay. T Rail no. That was fucking Nino hilarious. Did an ill uh, Patreon the other day with this fucking fire ass black chick, Nina four twenty. Mm, Movie. Nina. I watched uh, Duno interview T Rail on on Duno's channel. That shit was, was that? fucking really Duno's good. Duno's about to interview Lena. That's gonna be fire. Really? Sharp's, Sharp's gonna interview me. Really? That's gonna be yeah. good. Yeah. Get in depth. Get him man. to scream at you if you want to get some views. I know. Huh? Piss him off. Nasty. No, Tell you know him about all your simping ways. No, you know what? He came on disconnected and they loved. They, they loved. I've seen that one went crazy. Yeah. They loved like chilled out. Was that, sharp. What, was that your most watched episode? Nah, I think uh, honestly, Kazumi might have the most viewed one. The fucking oh. sharp episode that comes out on Thursday mm-hmm. where he's interviewing Eliza. I gotta see it. So I think you sent fun. the. I sent the link in the group. Yeah, yeah. Is, it better, so is it better funny. than the Kazumi? It's one? not better than the Kazumi one. I think it's that better. Shit was classic. What? He, get, he gets more mad at Eliza than he was at Kazumi. I think. Right. Mm. Yes. He he basically ends, ever he ends the podcast every like thirty minutes. What he kind of like almost walks he off went, his own podcast. He just even more it. crazy than the church. Mm, the church was like a different version because he lets her yeah. talk. Like he didn't let church talk at all, so that shit was weird. <laughs> it was like a very Sorry. different style of po- sharp podcast. But this mm. one, he lets them talk, but he just like is just dissing them so hard. It's so funny. I could see how maybe Sharp just would not uh, understand or align with Eliza. Eliza's Eliza views. keeps calling him a bitch. She keeps okay, going. See, that's where- she go listen, bitch, and every time oh, he no. just keeps going. You ain't gonna call me that. Don't call me. like he gets nah, more and more heated every time she says it, bro. You know what I? You know what I really realized, bro. And bro. I guess she called him the N word. He wasn't feeling that. Oh, what? God. Not during it, but like oh. previously. Well, Kazumi <laughs> basically tried to tell him he couldn't say the N word. That, that was that was that was crazy. That's not the person you want to be telling. Wait, about. I got the Monster Podcast. Wait, wait, Fresh wait, wait. and Fit, uh-huh. Sharp, and the Tender Swindler, all in one room. That's kind of crazy. Wait, wait. Let me, let me just speak on this real quick because, bro, having Sharp on the show last week, it it really like, bro. He first of all, he's a loyal ass nigga, bro. Mm-hmm. Like he is like, if nigga, if you are my homie, bro, like kind of like you, bro. Like on some like, nigga, I will ride to the bat. Like I will ride to the death for you, bro. I will mm-hmm. go up to bat, and uh, bro, I'll I, shoot this fat burger up. I feel like I feel McDonald's. like me, I feel like we really gained a really good rapport, and I'm like. I, I'm really excited to do that uh, interview with him, bro. I feel like it's going to come out really good. Mm. Shout out to motherfucking Sharp, man. Are you going to do your own interviews, too? <laughs> they have one lined up. We got two lined up. Two of the hottest young <laughs> intelligentsia in intelligentsia? the street. I like, I like how everybody's just doing interviews. I know. It's tight. It's fire. I'm still waiting for AD to drop in and do one. It's not happening. Who what? You, who are you going to I feel like you could do it easy. Uh, bro, Dave I got, Thomas? I feel more than everybody. Yeah. Yeah, and I'll add you're another like, show now. You're like, I don't got no other time. I got nothing <laughs> else to say. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Gotta hey. give these pipes a break. But no, that's why I like, I like, that's why I said the food shit, like that's dope. And it's, it's, it's different. It's, it's different. Like, it's I, I want to keep bringing different I'm shit I'm very excited to, to see platform. what people think of the food show. Oh, me and Duno, they're going to eat that <laughs> shit up. You know, literally. Literally, they're going to eat it up. You know what I should do? When can we drop it? This week, right? True. We supposed Send to a private link. We'll I know talk, somebody got it. We'll talk tomorrow. Thumbnail and title is the whole thing because it's like, we were thinking of putting like five dollar tacos versus fifteen hundred dollars sushi, five thousand dollars. <laughs> that's some, that's bro, some that would have been fire. Shit. I know, but that's kind of like the thing that it really yeah. highlights. But it's also like, why are you putting like ten dollar tacos against five thousand dollars sushi? It's not even the same food. Um, I, I thought know. that. I'm just trying to decide. Yeah. What, I mean, but the shit was fire though. I loved yeah, it. The content is fucking great. Yeah, I can see the comments saying that. Why the? Why would you compare the two different foods? To you me, freaking it's gonna, idiots. It's gonna open up the door to like way more opportunities for us. It's like a, at the end of the day vlog. Nah, it's better. I mean, that, but that's what the vibe is mm. like because it's like the host just yeah. doing uh, something. Is, is all three of y'all? No, I just no. need to do Okay. T Rail is too, too famous. I'm trying to go. <laughs> well, man, it's the fucking... flight. The flight wasn't the set flight, up properly. The, <laughs> <laughs> the combinations at the restaurant <laughs> were, <laughs> weren't up to, t- up to par. <laughs> the roast that we did at him earlier was so good. <laughs> that was fucking hilarious. I was just picturing him at home. Bro, just, I'm <laughs> so hungry. We hey, that's like this. everybody called me. They was like, Big U called you a broke rapper. Oh my feel about god! That? Let's talk about Speak it. Speak on That's it. Ugh, we play like that. Yeah. But I say he got me back because in the interview I was like, "Uh, don't be doing no Tyler Perry shit, <laughs> putting on a fucking dress." He looked at me crazy. He ain't doing that. 
But it's, but it's funny we joke with each other like right, that. Right, but that okay. was hilarious. Though. How do you feel about the characterization of you as broke before no jumping? Bro, this is the funny thing about you it. Got right? my nigga you never up. seemed broke to me. No, this is the funny this is the funny thing about everything, right? <laughs> People pick make up your fucking mind. Yeah. Versus, oh, you're too <laughs> you're gangster, sil- <laughs> you're too hard, you're silver spoon, you didn't have a heart, <laughs> you were broken. Like, it's like, my nigga, Can choose y'all pick a side one? <laughs> and stick with it. I, it's, I'm cool with whatever it is. Yeah. But were you Financially comfortable off just music before the no jumper shit? Nigga, you been you seen what I was doing. You seen fun. <laughs> That's yeah. what I'm saying. Right. Now, was I the richest rapper? No, not at all. But see the difference between me and other artists is nigga, I'm in I've been independent from the jump. Yeah. So my checks have been coming in the mail. Directly it's to keep the pocket. coming in. Bro, the first and the fifteenth, shout out to Empire. You feel me? Mm. I get checks from Empire, I get checks from Priority, I get checks from Universal, I get checks from other people. So AD would never be broke again whether I did You get checks again. from Universal Studios because you go there and you wear the, the Homer Simpson costume? Mm-hmm. Hey, shout out to Universal Studios because they got the Super Mario World coming out. And I'm about That's going to gonna be that. crazy. You're going to tap in with your Italian heritage. I'm going to go on me. I meet the ball. That's newfound wait, wait, wait. expertise in Italy. If, uh, shout out, Bella Yoshi. Bro, if Dave, Yoshi. If, Dave ever wins a, if Dave ever wins a war, you get one because you're in it. You didn't think like. Why I, would they win an award for a season from like multiple years ago? Not a season, but like the entire show, right? I didn't think about this. Like an Emmy or something. Oh, yeah. And I just locked in another TV show. I can't talk about it. Why are you on the ground? Oh, yeah. And I'm in a fucking movie coming out this summer, too, man. And I got a song in that movie now. Oh, yeah. Full Reviews is coming soon. And oh, yeah. Uzumaki is dropping motherfucking 420. This is the No Jumper Show. Fuck Adam. Fuck porn. And we out. <laughs> Should we all sit on the ground for a while? <laughs> Fuck it. Hey, wait. It That'd be kind of cool, like here. just looking over the fucking oh, yeah. top of the. Only, only OT. <laughs> we see what happened. Like, hey, come on. I like, no, no, no. I, I like it because right bro, here. there's a rock star fucking stain on the ground. Yo, the clip of you kicking <laughs> over Yuri's rock star and then being like, I know I didn't. This is the weirdest shit we ever hey, done. Hey, this on shit here. feels good. I like, I like it down here. No, I feel like Wilson from uh, Home Improvement. <laughs> <laughs> With half your face. <laughs> Everybody, what happened to Tim, Tim Allen? I'm so hungry. He's scoring coke. Um, hey. Uh, <laughs> what? Yo, everybody go watch the Hash Brown Town vlog. You put on No Jumper? Show some, uh, show some love to No Jumper out of context. Because he going hard. Eliza just and said no I'm jumper watching memes, you. Because you be hating on No What's Jumper What's she memes. saying? Eliza two hours ago said I'm watching you. Oh, I wonder what she thinks about my description well, we of the sharp episode. we just found out that she said the N-word, so. <laughs> <laughs> she been doing that, bro. She finna get chucked. She thinks that her Greek heritage gives her the right. I used to tell her all the time, stop calling me the a gr- fucking bitch. She'd be like, Greek, come on, bitch. The Greek freak. See, she fucking me. She don't call me no bitches. When's Orlando Brown going on at the end of the day? You, you need know. to sign Orlando Brown to the uh, uh, Adam and Lena porn conglomerate. Orlando fuck? Brown on the AD and Houseville mixtape. That'll be got to get a verse, bro. Crazy. Kiki went to the fucking new office today, so he can tell you how dope it is. Wait, Wait first, Kiki. first of all, it's we got not, a lot of space. It's not just gonna be the 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 AD and House phone mixtape. We need a verse from everybody in the office. We need an OG Suicide verse. We need, we need Tiesto a big beats. Ski. We need we need 420 Tiesto beats. I'm doing a verse. Trev, my bro, you got to least. Seriously. If Trev do a verse, it's up. The That's BBC right. We got to do like a 20, a 20 song project. So at the end, you could have all the bum ass the... rappers, aka me and whoever. <laughs> no, no. We you need can a... actually rap. Yes, I know. So I'm gonna go bro, crazy. you went crazy today. I'm going to do some Jack Harlow shit. Yo, have you seen the No Jumper freestyles where they like. They cut it up and put the beats over it? A little bit. Bro, yeah. no, no, no. Will Smith this... slapped the shit out of me. Nah, that, that <laughs> sucked. There's one where they take our freestyles of us talking and they and they line it up with a beat. No Jumper Contest did it? Nah, it was on YouTube. That's how I want to make all of my songs. I'll just like freestyle right here, take five, ten seconds between bars, yeah. and then just let them... Clip it and put it over the That's track. what people do. It. That, it's called punching in. That's, That's what, what people sound, do. It. <laughs> That's what like people Tron. do in the studio all day. Baby Tron shit. You're going to sound like Baby Tron. <laughs> you just become the hardest rapper ever. Remember we was going to do a music video and you was talking about it? With Baby Tron? No. Remember you was like, look, I'm about to have the 645 AR voice. Wow. And I want you to do a verse. You don't remember that? One Vague. of your ideas. Vague. That sounds like a terrible idea. I did a smiley video. You was rapping be in known. there? I want to be in my zone. You was in Blue Bucks video, too. Briefly. We both were, yeah. Was out Looking, here. like, very strange. No, but the... F- <laughs> like Sitting in the Maybach. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting in the Rolls Royce, all awkward and I stiff. I didn't know they were going to film me when I fucking got in there, and then all of a sudden I'm in the video, but I'm, I'm cool with it. I'm, I'm about to watch the Phil BBC interview. I'm literally going to go home and watch that as soon as what I get to the What about you? Career. BBC! Pause. You bro. see that? <laughs> Wait, what? The clip of him rapping on the BBC where he's like, yeah. BBC! <laughs> 
Who said we that? Got, you. you. Hey, <laughs> we have that on the soundboard? <laughs> BBC. What the fuck is that? What were you Do talking about? Oh, Do it again. BBC. Oh. You talking about you talking about my guy. One more. Charlie BBC. Slaw. One more. Why did y'all put that BBC? On the One more. <laughs> BBC. I feel like it could be like a little bit more before it. Yeah, a little so bit before it. I should have known in my future that mm, one day. Wait, and this that's is going to be used story. against I a- me. I wrote, AD, what do you contribute to No Jumper? And then it was the clip of you saying, BBC. What? Wait, who was... Why wh- you never tag me with stuff you say about me? Because I assume you're just going to look at my story, but it said no, you're out I Italy don't, I don't <laughs> crawling <laughs> through pipes and shit. <laughs> crawling through Stomping pipes? Stomping on turtles. <laughs> <laughs> you stomped out a turtle? Yes. His name was Bagel. He's making a Mario His name was though. Croissant. Oh, yeah. Bro, why does this always fall off? His name was Goomba. We are... Goomba. We, we are Goomba. We are Gamba. You fuck with them Goombas? What is that? Them little fucking dudes. Those you nigga, you ever seen? You ever Mario. seen the first Super Mario movie when it was in the the Super Mario movie? Doing this? You never seen the, the original Super Mario movie? I didn't know there was a Super Mario movie I seen at the Street all. Fighter Two movie as well. Street Fighter movie was that great. probably sucked. That shit was fire. Street Fighter movie. You remember the Mortal Kombat movie? The first. No, one? no, no. Have you guys seen that they're they're making a Halo TV show? They already no, dropped, they dropped it. it. They it came out already. What? Did you watch Most it already? Did it suck? Oh, I love Halo so much. I don't know if I want to look at nah, it. Nah, I was reading reviews and people it's was good? nah. People were I mean, not review, but like uh, reviews of the trailer. They were acting like they wasn't fucking with it. Like the Halo community. I I guarantee you, we show what? Adam the Peacemaker intro. He's gonna want to watch the show. I'm gonna give you a Halo. <laughs> wow. I'm gonna get you merched. Wow. You dig? Hit up Blazzy. You put the nigga on the shirt. Sell it. Make some merch. I call your bitch up and say, "Come get this work." House phone was a junkie that stole Dooney and Birch. I feel like a bird sitting up on my perch. I Adam. used to be, I used to be grimy. I used to be going in bitches' purses. If Adam had the chance, he would do plug talk with Ernie and Bert. <laughs> Ad hit it from the back, but he can't Pause. make a squirt. Her. Oh. <laughs> I broke the bitch ovaries. I think she's gonna need a gurney. A gurney? Yeah. He quit Pacific Sunwear and now he's working at Journeys. Oh, that was a bar! Oh! This, this nigga Adam be snitching. I need to call my attorney. Pac oh. Sun sent the cease and desist. You need an attorney. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. Before AD came from No Jumper, I was making no earnings. <laughs> Facts! <laughs> I saw you snorting ketamine about to go on a journey. You remember? Remind me of that racist white man from Higher Learning. He got a dr- he got a dead leg. Now they pull him out on a gurney. <laughs> Josh is a deadhead. He he go to the concerts for a journey. <laughs> that was bad. Fuck. That was good, man. man. They gotta give us a check, bro. Come on. Once we're on streaming man, services give me a, together, give me a check for the metaverse. You don't to let him me. fuck? No. Yo, Paul. <laughs> it better still be seventy five. <laughs> <laughs> the plug talk metaverse you know what was an amazing point that that bootleg kev made that i never thought about when he was on at the end of the day last week which underrated episode everybody should go check it out that he hated last kings and hated that, that was funny too he made me really think about how i hated last kings yeah, too me too i don't really think about that when i think about t rail's journey but no he's talking about <laughs> the fact that uh that he thinks Lil Wayne killed Truck Fit by saying suck, suck a, a nigga dick, dick for, for some, for truck, some truck, truck Fit. Because then all of a sudden, whenever you saw Truck Fit, people would be like, oh, you suck some dick for that? Like, I remember I, everybody making that joke. I, don't, yeah. I didn't really know anyone who wore a Truck Fit. I was going to say, like, that's crazy. Though. can we prequel that joke to just like Truck Fit was a terrible brand from the beginning? I was literally texting yeah. them the whole episode. I was laughing. That was really? fucking Cam, hilarious. Cam and fucking T-Rail. I thought Jay Bills was good, too. Oh, Shout yeah, out to Jay, Jay Mills. Mills. Jay Mills Wasn't he it. signing Young Money at one point? You started to, yeah, that, he talked about it a the lot. The funniest shit, though, was like, <laughs> I was like, they fucked up the my book, you fucking ass. <laughs> Wait, who read it? Who ended up reading it? <laughs> T-Rail and Duno. Oh, I love that. They destroyed <laughs> it. Duno needs glasses. Yeah, me too. That's the only reason why I can't read. We I can read the news together. Perfectly. Do not squinting so bad trying to read it. Like it didn't seem like he was having a hard time reading. It just seemed like he was having a hard time seeing the fucking screen. Yeah, that's where everybody kind of had me fucked up. Like I can't read. Like nigga, I just have bad eyes. That shit was far away. Bro, I probably like me and Adam. My cookie. Probably just we just need to read everything here. I mean, you got to think about it. You got a lot of more practice because you was been doing I the did news. I've been this shit for fucking two years now. Do you want to get your Mexican card up and go to the Money Sign Sway show with me? When? Who is that? Like next Saturday, I think. Nigga, I'm going with y'all. What the fuck? I love that nigga. That's Kodak Brown right there. Let's go. 
Kodak Brown? He's the Kodak wow. of, of of the Hispanic community. Does he call himself that? Or is I that... call him that. <laughs> That's a term of endearment. <laughs> yeah. I love him, bro. He said his shit been crazy as fuck. I'm trying to do the interview with him that day and yeah. then go to the show. That sounds like a great idea. That sounds like throwback no jumper content. Like really like the heart of no jumper. I seen one of them first vlogs that Adam was uh who was you with? You bought some Gucci shoes. Lil Pump. Pump and Perp. Mm -hmm. Dub. Y'all look like y'all just having a, a great ass time. Yeah, that was after they kicked me off the tour. They kicked you off the tour for what? They stealing alleged, smoke perps. Drip. Allegedly, I was stealing clothes, but I wasn't. Keep it G. I was selling them my clothes. <laughs> Keep it G. I wasn't. Man. Everyone yeah. was honestly on so many Zans that I didn't really trust knows? anybody's yeah. account of what happened. I didn't yeah. know if I should believe smoke perp or not. All I knew is that we had to basically get husband off the tour because yeah. Perp was about to cancel, and that would have been very bad. Yeah, I mean, literally. And like Adam was like, "Hey, listen, if bro, if bro uh, say you can come, then you can come." And I, you gotta remember that was my homie before. So I'm literally texting him. I'm like, "Bro, I would never steal your shit, bro. Like, like That's I don't crazy, know who's telling he, you he this." He was gonna give you a feature. I mean, what, what, <laughs> what would that have done for me now? Dude, your check <laughs> would probably be looking a little bit greener yeah. on the Spotify side. I don't know of about that. Hey, independent checks, man. As long as you got some shit, this shit work. Yeah, this nah, but um, yeah, yeah. So then I'm like, bro, I'm literally like telling this nigga, like, bro, I would literally never steal your shit, bro. And I'm like asking him, like, nigga, like, I don't know who's telling you this or blah, blah, blah. Then nigga ignored me the whole time until they went to Arizona. They had already left L.A. And then he was like, oh, my bad, bro. And then he tried to blame it on Pump. He was like, oh, yeah, it was like Pump and them. That was just like, they're real protective of me and blah, blah. Like, you know, just on. Adam passed it off to Perp, and then Perp passed it off to Yay! Pump. Yeah. It was the first time for everything. I was in yeah. over my head doing that tour. I mean, bro, listen. You if my like you was out of place. If my two headliners. Great. If my two headliners was like. I'm canceling the rest of the tour yeah. unless you kick Potlord off the tour. What are we going to do? Toke, you got to get the fuck out. You're kicking Potlord out. Potlord, you got to get the fuck out. You got a surfboard back to L.A. <laughs> you got to fucking breathe some salt water in. And Speaking of Potlord, he ruffled some feathers. And I'm not going to say What you who. mean? I'm not going to say With your who. people's? Nah. I'm He's not getting Compton anymore? He just know that. <laughs> I, was I really want to know Compton. what you're talking I'm gonna about. I'm going to tell you off camera. I think I know what you're talking about, actually. <laughs> really? He going to be the next Chuck Pack? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god Damn alright I'm so hungry Can we end this Let's end please? it Shout out to AD Shout out House Phone I think this is a really good episode this guys It's good yeah I Every think the our, our rapport Everyone go subscribe to No Jumper Clips I'm back off suspension y'all Wait also follow me <laughs> Follow me on my newly made Instagram At House Phone Shawty Y'all niggas Did you follow me? I'm gonna follow you guys Ooh. I just made it last night House Phone Shawty House Phone S-H-A-W-T-Y Time to hit up the military no, this don't get me deleted. This Go watch my happen. interview with OGZ and the interview with PGF Nook. I went crazy. Two fire episodes back to back. Shoreline cut.